I'm gonna turn on the microphones now. So no one can hear us yet. But I've turned on- Oh my god, what's wrong with us? Oh god, where did we go? Who are- Good evening and welcome to the party. It's Friday the 13th, so we thought we'd start with a little bit of a ha-ha. This is who we- who, who everyone else thinks we are. And who we think we are. This is- the party for Heart of Darkness. <laughs> we, we took a moment today to find our spirit animals before the game began, and here is what we came up with. I'm very excited for this today. I just, I just hope you all enjoy these wonderful pictures that we believe encapsulate our souls. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and give you the happiest game ever. I, 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 I don't know how much longer I can keep them up, guys. No real cameras, just these all night. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <this> <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, I'm taking them down. I'm taking them down. Taking oh, them I down. like your Seth Rogen. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we one. actually are. <laughs> and welcome to the party. It's another Friday, <laughs> which means it is another night for Heart of Darkness. Uh, I'm Thruck. I'm your DM for the evening, and one of the two co-creators of the channel, Welcome to the Party, which kind of went crazy this week. Um, so I think I want to start by talking about that. We have a huge announcement that we're going to be bringing two new games to the stream, uh, Friday night or Saturday nights at 8.30 and Sunday nights at 8.30. Um, we are committed to creating an inclusive and uh, diverse gaming community and so we put out a call for lots of different people who would be interested in gaming uh, in a place where they would both feel appreciated welcome and safe and uh, we got way more people than we ever expected and so we were able to put together two games there might even be a third one on top of it depending on how some timing works out so that's super crazy and on top of that we have a official third game to announce too starting at the beginning of may uh my one of my favorite people on the planet uh, his name is, uh, I guess he's calling himself ZX now, uh, also known as Elvex, also known as Zed on the Saturday game. He's going to be running a game for people entirely new to D&D that's literally all about teaching them how to play D&D and kind of getting into it and having a good time. So that's not one, not two, but three new games coming to the channel over the next month. So that's super crazy. Uh, and I, I, I mean, Kim, I'm going to throw it over to you for your reaction on this as well, because I thought it was amazing. Ah, uh, you guys are killing it. I don't really do anything except like send some emails and do some admin stuff and make graphics. But this is awesome. Right? This is awesome. Uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested, we, we, we are creating an amazing community. Just click on that Discord link below and join the Discord. You'll meet a bunch of awesome people who are interested in playing all sorts of different games. And uh, they're all very friendly, wonderful, open, sharing, cut, loving, kind people, we hope. I haven't met them all yet, but I would assume they were. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. And if they're not, Except I'll kick them. It's cool. Guy. Except yeah, for that fan ran gay. Yeah, F that dude. Ran ran. F <laughs> that dude. All right, so let's do quick announcements. Or let's do a quick round of the team. Everybody say hi, hello. We'll start with the, the wonderful Miss Kazara. Hi, I'm Kimages. Kimages TV on Twitter and Kimages on Twitch. And I play an Asimar sorcerer named Kazara. And she's kind of like coming to her own since leveling up to level six. She's like got some really cool spells now. And uh, like just really cool shit's happening as everyone's story is unfolding and we're finding out how they're all connected. And yes. <laughs> yes. And then uh, she is also at Kimmages TV on Twitch and streams at twitch.tv front slash Kimmages. And then below that, we have Mr. Noah. That's me. Hi, everybody. I'm Sven. I'm the old man fighter in this game, and I think last time we had a very in-depth take on my backstory, so you probably all know me a lot better now. Uh, you know what I've been up to, or what I what I haven't been telling everyone. Um, I just do uh, art mostly on Twitter, and I'm always busy, so I don't get to hang out with my friends nearly enough. I'm happy to yep. be here. Hi. Yep. And he is at the Noah Introduction on Twitter, right? Sven. Did I get no. that right? Is it just Noah no. introduction? It's Bam Boomerang art. No, no, he changed. No, it. I changed it back. Oh, what the fuck, back. Noah? Jesus! Yes. What the? God damn it, Noah! Yeah, yeah he is Noah introduction 
which I love. It's no, it, yeah. Yeah. no, no introduction on Twitter, to make it and then like bam, boomerang, <laughs> and he is bam, boomerang on Twitch, and then right next yeah. to that is the amazing Miss Nancy Druid. Hi, I'm Nancy Druid. Um, I play Jack, yeah. <laughs> who is a, a tabaxi bard, and um, she may have a thing for a tree, and um. And I'm really excited about what's to come in that relationship. And um, I'm plot. really happy to be here. Yay. Yeah. And <laughs> she is at the Nancy Druid on Twitter. And when we get her to start streaming again, she will be the Nancy Druid on Twitch. And we'll get her to start streaming again. It'll happen. And then last but very not least tonight is my man, the Than Rand. Hi, I'm Than Rand. I... <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, and I, uh, I'm a streamer. That's literally pretty much all I do. I stream daily almost on Twitch at Thanrand. And I'm playing Vim, who is a half elf rogue assassin, who's uh, had quite a change of heart as to his uh, you know, background and is looking to turn a new leaf. Awesome. He's and he is, of you. course, at Thanrand. I think you just said this at Thanrand on both Twitch and Twitter. Oh, yeah. Okay, Anywhere you find Thanran, that's me. He's the Thanran Mandist. Yeah. Than, no Than, Than Randalist. Yeah. Thr the Thandiest and the Randiest. He's the Thandiest. I like that. That's where it is. It's, he's the Thandiest and the Randiest. Okay. So a couple of quick thank yous right before we start. Oh, my God. Shan Logic and Breber, who's never been in here before. Both of you cheering. Before we even start the game, I love you so very much, and so does the team. Uh, proceeds right now go to keep the uh, the channel up and running and paying for bills, uh, which are, it is surprising that there are some for running D&D on stream. But thank you so much for helping support that. Um, and let's hop into the game. Let's bring up some music. Ooh, that's a good starting song. All right. Bring up my notes. When we last left our intrepid adventurers, they were high on the plateau of Mambala. The party is on their way to Oralunga to visit with the oracle supposed to reside there in order to get more answers about the death curse, who is really behind it, and what they can do to stop it. On their way, the party was attacked by a patrol of ghouls far too militaristic to be any random raiding party. Dispatching, them, uh, dispatching with them, the party drove further west, into the jungle where they came upon an 1,800-foot-tall mesa with sheer cliffs and a small path leading up the side. Deciding to investigate, the party made their way to the top, where they found a large pile of bones blocking the entrance to the village. The bodies, it seems, were devoured by some creature with razor-sharp razor teeth. Making their way past the macabre scene, the party found a dead city with no life except for one small, elderly woman tending a garden. We meet our party now, as they have their first encounter with Nanny Poo Poo. Wait, you're really going with this? That's actually her name. All right. What do you want from I me? See what, kind of, see what kind of game we're going to have. <laughs> Let's see how it's going to be, Thrick. Mm-hmm. And just to remind you guys what she looks like, were you guys literally last were in the last game was she had just turned around and looked at you she was kind of talking to you while tending her garden and then she 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 turned around and looked at you um and let me bring up the handout again you should have it but if you don't it's right right here and uh ooh, where'd it go uh, because i can't spell okay one second there it is yes Beep. Beep. Oh, you should have it there go. she looks she looks like this uh Oof. And Not she kind of, so lady. He kind of turns around and looks at you and goes, "Oh, hello, my friends. Welcome to Mubala. What brings you here today?" Uh, I didn't. I think one of us asked about the oracle last time. Yeah. Or where we are about to. You were going to ask her about the oracle. I just hate her if we did already or not. No, you, we, you, she literally, you were like, hey, who are you? What's going on? And then she turned around and then conversation was about to begin. Oh. Yep. What, what brings you here? Boy, do you know anything about an oracle? I, uh, 
I know some rumors of an oracle, but, uh, but, uh, why do you seek it? That's certainly a great question. Uh, because <laughs> she can lead us to the direction of Omu. Omu? That is oh, yeah. a, an old and, and dangerous place. Why would you want to go there? To... Wait! Uh, my, my manners. I am sorry. I am... She kind of gets up and, and brushes her knees off. Very arthritic sort of... Re, re, ugh. Uh, and you hear this kind of crack as she tries to like straighten her back out. And she says, I am Nanny Poo Poo. At least that's what the villagers used to call me. Well, who are you? Uh, my name's Vim. And uh, these are my companions Kazara, I'll Jax. Go ahead, introduce yourselves. I would like to take her hand and. and uh... She needs that. Wish her good tidings and say, hello, Nanny Poo Poo, I'm Jax. Hello, Jax, it is nice to meet you. Would you want, like, some tea? Oh, I would oh, love some tea. tea. Okay, <laughs> I have some brewing. Uh, for one moment, let me go inside and get us some cups. And then she heads inside. What does the tea smell like? Uh, it smells like anise seed. Poo Poo? And fennel, and oh, okay. uh, kind of black tea, kind of mixed mm. together. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really nice, actually. Okay. Can I kind of just take a look around her little area here? Yeah. For make, anything make, weird or? For cool? sure. Make a perception. I'm gonna, check. I'm gonna whisper actually, derisively in Vim's ear and say, "Don't steal from this old lady." Don't worry. Don't worry. Say perception or. Yeah, make a perception check. So what you guys, in, in where she is, is that. That is kind of what her little area of the town looks like. Um, yeah. So a couple of things you notice is um, she's kind of in the middle of harvesting in the, the, the garden right here. And there's a couple of freshly dug mounds where it looks like, you know, they put seeds in and things like that. And she has all sorts of things she's growing, fruits and vegetables, uh, everything one would need to kind of sustain themselves if they were living by themselves here. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, it's a dilapidated old hut with kind of bone chimes hanging off of it. And you don't really see anything weird, except for once out of the corner of your eye, you just, for a moment, and it could just be... You're in a town full of people who have all died. Or it could be something else. You're not sure. You see what you think is just the flick of a shadow. Just kind of in the corner of your eye. You, at, at first, you, you don't even think it's anything. You're not even sure if it was anything. But for a moment, you swear to God you saw a shadow kind of flick away from you. Is there somebody else here with you? She's Nanny still Google. inside. Yeah. Damn it! I, I would be like, did, did you guys see something? <clears throat> I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh. oh, nope. We all didn't see that. That was Vim. That yeah, there was only Vim who saw it, so only he would have the ability to comment on it or tell you about it. What yeah, is what there a like phone yeah. nearby? Huh. I don't think so, but I just I kind of brush it off, but I'm. Keeping my eyes on a swivel. And... Okay. Uh, after a moment, you guys have been talking for a little bit. She comes back out and has a, a large kind of teak wooden platter with enough cups for each of you and for her and this big steaming pot um, with a ladle in it. And she brings it over and she sets it down on a rock and she takes the ladle out and pours a cup for each of you. So, as she hands them out, she'll ask you, mm -hmm. you seek the Oralunga. Yes? Yes. Yes. That's correct. And do you wish to speak with the Oracle there? Yes. Am I supposed to know what the Oraluga is? Yes. 
counting on you guys to know things. I'm yes, yes. Out of it. We are definitely looking for that. <laughs> You're the one who made the decision last week, Vim, to go there. For the Oracle, I don't know what Oraluga is. Oraluga is where the Oracle is. Where the, yeah. Okay, well there. Okay, well then there. That's yes. Everyone is cool. I was distracted by Priestess and Babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I just haven't done my due diligence to or keep up. Last week was Priestess Sex Babe. That, yeah. That's why I'm distracted. Yeah, last I don't week remember was things. Priestess Sex Babe, indeed. Yeah. I'm writing it right now. Oraluga is where the Oracle is. Got it. Sorry. Do you know the Oracle, Nanny Poo Poo? I do not. She is not up here. She is where, where you are seeking. This is not that place. It's a lady. So, what is it you do, Nanny Poo Poo? Do you just sit and... Or, or what is your... Well, I, I used to be a medicine woman, me and my sisters. Oh. But everyone is gone. The, They're gone? Yes. Why are they gone? Uh, the Terra folk took them. I have a little magic, so they have left me alone, but soon I imagine they will come for me too. They took whole families and ate them, and then oh. dropped dropped their, their bones at the entrance. There was nothing I could do. Who are the Terra folk? They are, uh, flying sorts of creatures that uh, stand on two legs with big wings and long snout with pointy teeth. So those were the ones that must have attacked who, the people up on the plateau? Yes, those attacked my, my family and my friends. They, they, they took my sisters. I'm so sorry. I'd like to go up and give her a hug. She hugs you back. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Ibe, they, uh, I do not want to impose, but you look like adventurers to me. Um, they're not too far from here. Their nest. If you would be so kind as to remove them so I can live here the rest of my days peacefully. Perhaps send word for more people to come and inhabit the place. Of Fill course. it with children again, perhaps. I think uh, we should help her out, guys. Yes, if we could remove them without getting into a huge heap of trouble. Jim's gonna inside check. Okay. Because that's what he does. He just mistrusts everyone. Yep. She seems on a level you. What do these beings look like? Um, have you seen the flying dinosaurs that have been around? Pterodactyls, I think yeah. the learned call them. We've definitely seen one of those. These are like them, except they have legs and can walk and fly. Mother of God. If they can fly, why do they need they, legs? <laughs> are they like large, like pterodactyls, or are they? Yes, they are quite large. Good lord! Okay. How many do you think there are? It's a it's a nest's worth, so six to twelve, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I see them tending in packs of four to six when they come and raid the village. Is Boucherie with us? Uh, I had assumed you left the camp down at the foot of the... Okay, and he stayed there, okay. Yeah, unless you specifically want him to be up here with you, then he can be up here with you. Mm. I I just made the assumption you went into an adventure area, and so the camp team yeah. stayed at camp. Yeah. Yeah. The B team, yeah, they yeah. stay there. Yeah, the B team stayed at camp. Um, oh God. Does anybody, have any of you ever heard of anything like this? No, I haven't. If somebody Bernie. wants to make a nature check for Bryn. Or, ah. Jax, you know what Terra folk are. You grew up in the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. They're Somebody mean, jungle. but they're not... They're not unconquerable by those who are trained enough to be fighty types, right? They're they're big. 
and they they're predatory and they once they stake out a nest they'll fight for it but they're not they're, it's not like you're fighting a dragon right it's more like if you were to compare it to something you had fought in the past you would compare it to like that undead dinosaur thing that you guys fought oh. on the way here in the, in the pit oh that thing okay. yeah yeah that's fine but like 12 of them would be pretty rough but yeah there are always some flying about and always some in the nest so they're not all there at the same time I don't think I look up do I see any of them flying around now uh, there's a lot of canopy cover here um, but oh. no you don't see you don't specifically like see any We're not in like the middle of a city or I mean it's a it's a jungle village oh okay probably at its height 400 people lived here Oh, okay. My yeah, it's brain not had like, it, a like a big city. civilized. No, no, no. It's a. It, it was gotcha. like a. It's like a medium-sized town. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I have a little bit I could give you. Some scrolls, maybe some potions. Ooh. If, if you oh. would be willing to help me. I am going into That's battle. So nice. Only your well, you know, potions. we're here to help. I don't help. know if we need to take Nanny Poo Poo's treasures in order to fight bird I mean, demons off from her land. Well, I'm all, all for it, but her. I will pass, actually. That's fine. I'll go with you guys. Yeah, we don't need, we have all we need. Oh, we'll okay. look into the problem for you. That, that is very generous of you. I haven't seen anyone here in two years. I'm Who were the last people that were here? It was the Alunga family. Hmm. And they were taken. So they're not just killing people in the village. They are taken away. No, no. I mean, they were they were killed. No. Oh. Eaten. So there's no chance of bringing them back. Okay. Yes. I believe that bones reside with the rest of the village at the entrance. Oh um, yeah. Well, where should we start looking? Oh, um, I. Uh, I think I, I know the best place to find them. Let me look at my notes real quick. Hang on one moment. Um, oh yes, there we go. Uh, there, if you go to the southern lip of the uh, mesa here, you will find a cave that they have made their nest. It's no more than a 20 minute walk. I'm right, not sure. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm not sure exactly where it is there, I've, but that is where they fly out of, and there's a number of caves in that area. That sounds like a good place to start. Mm -hmm. How long will you be safe, Nanny Poo Poo? Are you okay on your own? I How am. You have. I have been able to hold them off with my magic for a while, but. I'm getting old, and my mind is failing me. So, soon they may come, and I will not be able to stop them. Well, there must be something we can do. Should one of us stay behind, or...? Um, she's been here for two years, I think. I guess she's okay. I think if we can go take care of this today, I think she'll be okay. To I'm not feeling fair, funny right? after drinking this tea, am I? Not at all. Nope, just tastes like tasty tea. You feel a little caffeinated. It would not <laughs> hurt me. I would feel secure if one of you stayed, but I do not expect it. Hmm. How about this? Bryn will kneel down to Ghost. Mm-hmm. And 
Can they communicate? I don't know how that works. Can they? Can she talk to him? And she can talk to if, him. He will understand what she says. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Bryn's going to uh, have Ghost kind of hang out with her and kind of look around a patrol and and kind of protect her. And so Bryn and Ghost are gonna stay there. I was no. I was gonna just oh, have just Ghost. Ghost. Stay. Okay. Just that Ghost works. kind of stay as a companion and to help watch out and everything. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So he would stay and watch, and Bryn would okay. come with us. Cool. Okay. Sweet. Uh, all right. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? What can we expect to find in these parts? Are we in danger of meeting anything other than these Terra folk? No, they have Soul Dominion here. Okay. It's good to know. Do you, do you need anything? Is there anything we can leave with you? A, a spell we could perform that would help? No, I should be okay. If, especially if you're leaving that big wolf. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Okay. So now I'll have to track uh, one other yeah. character instead of let's two. Let's go spelunking. Belonging. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys head out, and um, it doesn't take you long at all to get to the edge. It really is only about 20, 25 minutes, uh, and you see just an eternity of jungle in front of you. Um, you are 1,800 feet above the, the canopy of the jungle itself, and there are even clouds lower than where you are now. Um, this is an impressive vista, as you guys saw when you were climbing. Um, you have a much better sense of the geography from here. You can see the mountains off to the west, you can see the mountains off to the south. Uh, one of the things you actually notice as you're looking west is this large kind of step pyramid, um, that one could assume is directly in the direction you think where Alunga is, although you don't know if that's the place or not. You do see a large pyramid like of a of an what we would call an Aztec make out there. Um so I would like some survival checks. From everyone? To, yeah, I mean I would imagine you guys are now gonna begin looking for that cave. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Roll Twenty hate me? Like it, it does not last like you. Two weeks. I am pretty freaking proficient in survival. <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> so a couple of things that you guys notice as you're over here. There are a number of caves, most of which are not actually large enough to fit a large kind of half human, half pterodactyl beast. Um, there is one that is. The problem is, it's in a sheer cliff face, about 40 feet below you. However, uh, Sven notices something very interesting. He notices that there is kind of this cut into the top of the mesa itself that looks like it might act as a chimney or something. That, if, if, if he's right, would lead you guys down probably to that cave. Hark! A chimney atop the mesa! <laughs> we can uh -huh. climb down it. Like in the pagan holiday, Christian time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that holiday. <laughs> it's so much my favorite. Until we were going oh, spelunking. Spelunking. So we'll right. have to scale down a, um, a rock face chimney. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so it is a rock chimney. You guys know what those are, right? It's kind of like this vertical cut in the rock that you kind of have to shimmy your way down in order to get into a place. It's pretty conge it's pretty close in, but you're all relatively lithe individuals. None of you are wearing heavy armor. Um, I don't think, Sven, you're not wearing plate or anything, are you? I think you had me in a breastplate last That's fine. Time. Yeah, 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 you're good. All right. Um, so none of you are wearing super heavy armor, so you don't have to worry about, like, too much getting stuck. It's just going to be a climb. It's going to be an athletics check if you guys want to try and get down in that way. <laughs> um, 
I have a bundle of rope and 50 feet of hemp rope. Does that help at all? Yeah, I mean, that would absolutely help you. That will lower the DC for you guys to climb. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so who's going in first? Not me. I should be able mm. to... Climb. I don't want to greet whatever's down there first. From being a cat. Like... We just drop Jax down there. She'll land on all fours. Right. Yeah. She'll, yeah. She definitely won't. Yeah. <laughs> she'll be fine. You were me. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> tribute. Okay. Um, right, kitty. Go ahead and make me an athletics check. Okay. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Do you still have your inspiration? That won't help you. I think Jax just broke all of her legs. Can I? Do I? Am I able to climb? Oh wait, from you have a climb a speed. Yeah, you yeah. have a climb speed. You're able to just climb down. You're good. Yeah. You are. Tink, 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 tink. All right. So once you head down, uh, I'm gonna put you on this. You'll see everybody there, but you're not all there yet. So don't be. You know. I'll actually do this for now. Layer GM layer, layer GM layer. You are now standing right here. And what you see in the cave is what you see. There is some sort of creature kind of nestled up. What do your tabaxi eyes see? And I'm going to want you to make me a stealth check. If you were trying to be stealthy. I shouldn't assume. Yes. Okay. Thank God, because I didn't go first. Okay. <laughs> That's why I thought about going first, because my stealth is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, you see one of these creatures, it's this weird leathery looking, let me see if I actually have a handout for it. Uh, player handouts. Yeah, hey, there we go. Boink. Give it a Shoot. hand. Just giving you a handy, it's what I do. <laughs> Quick handy. Thanks. Par for the course. Thanks for that handy. You're very welcome. <laughs> We're generous with the handies around here. Yep. Did you guys see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is what it looks like. That's creepy. Right. It looks like a jerk. <laughs> He's like a big dick hole. Just a wow. Biggest I don't think I don't those know. are dick holes, know. Kim. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know about <laughs> dick holes. Yeah. I'm so tired, I can't make worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jax, you're down there. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something before anybody else climbs down, or you can just hold. Uh, I, I want to, like, like help people down. Okay. So. Will you please grab my butt? Cushion <laughs> <laughs> my please. Cushion my ass. Please. Grab okay. my ass. Okay, who's coming down next? <laughs> I'll go in on the chat. Okay. I got you. I got you, boo. Uh, we're off the rails tonight. I love we're it. Off the oh, yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use my my hemp and rope yes, because I can... opted not to smoke it. So I'm gonna use, use my hemp and rope. <laughs> your hemp and rope. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's like, do you just grab my ass? Do you just, <laughs> do you just grab my ass? You have your ways. Uh, so go ahead and make me an athletics check. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wow. Uh, that would be with the I rope thought. and with Jax helping you, all you needed was a 10 to get down the rope. You're fine. Yes. Fine. I gotcha. Um, Woo. So did you, did you, Jax, kind of intimate to them that maybe they should be quiet when they come down here? You should be quiet. Okay. Kazar, would you like to make a stealth check as you land? I probably should. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank y'all. Who's next down? So I, see, do I need to be the opposite of me. Uh, <laughs> I say... like to go. go ahead. Yeah. Are you ready to see a feat of strength? No. Good, because it's not going to happen on my turn. I, I didn't think it would. <laughs> Great strength of feet. All right. It's athletics, right? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna like rush to get. <laughs> All right. So. I like that. You got more where that came from. You fall, forty <laughs> feet down the chimney. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I'm gonna make an it. acrobatic check to. I, I would allow you to make an acrobatics check to reduce the damage from falling. Yeah. Dope. I'll try it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna re- I, 27, man. I'm reducing it to 1d6. You take four points of damage as you fall. Um, oh. And I need you to make a stealth check at disadvantage. Because I assume no you're problem. trying to be quiet even in your land. Actually, with a 27, yeah, I- I'm going to give you a stealth check at normal. Because that's a really good roll. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to disadvantage I, it. I will stealthily slap and hit into every facet on the way down. Come on! Come on! No! Okay. And I nailed it! <laughs> I nailed it! <laughs> All right. You, All right, you make it down. All right, it's Bryn's turn. It? All right. Good thing we didn't bring Ghost, huh? What? And, uh, no! Athletics check it is. I was wondering when I put this together how he would get down the hole. It's cool. Uh, yeah, athletics check for Brian. Don't worry about that. And then a stealth check. Uh, what did we get? Yeah, absolutely. Exploding dice. Holy crap, exploding dice with a host for 24 viewers. Thank you, dude. Woo! That is the awesomeness. I'm trying to be a little bit more clean. That is the... The thing, McGee, it's boobular tubular. Thank you for the host. Far out, man. It's far out, man. <laughs> wholesome. It is wholesome. Okay. Gnarly bra. All right, yeah, All right, so she's, yeah. she's still the AF. All right, so Byer's going to go down next. Boop. Okay, he makes it. Uh, and he'll make a stealth check. Yes. Okay. Don't fuck up, Byer. Byer okay. makes it down. That, that leaves old Vimipoo, huh? That leaves Vimtasticness. Vimtastic's gonna make an athletics check, and we're all gonna laugh. Because you guys... Oh, hey, look, you just made it. You, you actually slipped down the rope a couple of times on the way down, and you're like... <laughs> but you get your, your bearings and make your way down. Give me a stealth check. Oh, that was... Hmm, I rolled that as her. Oh, it's Hang fine. No. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. what's your what's your athletics? It's uh, let me re-roll. Uh, <laughs> re- re-roll <laughs> with your stats. I have to. Yeah, I have to. It's I, yeah. It was way different. Okay. <gasps> Fuck. I have still have inspiration. I want to. You roll. also have a luck. I do have a luck. Trip to uh, you. Uh, uh, uh. What's the inspiration? Is it D D six or D eight? Uh, D eight. And then my luck is just re-rolling, re-rolling. the D twenty. Yep. And I need a 10, you said? Yep. Good. I think I just want to use... No, oh, fudge it. I'll just be re- lucky. I'll be lucky and okay. then... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. You make it down. Uh, and then stealth and, me, baby. Yeah, stealth yeah, it yeah, to me one more. I critically failed, but still... It's a critical fail. It's a critical fail. <laughs> right, oh. Now, now, I'm definitely going to use... An, oh, I can't. I can't do that again. Never mind. You can use an inspiration. I can use my inspiration. That's going to keep me from being critical. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, what is the inspiration? Is a D8. 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 Roll a D8. Oh, God. It's not critical fail anymore. No, it was not a critical fail. Uh, You all are actually able to make it down, and you feel like you haven't been seen. And you're kind of huddled in this back little alcove. The one dude oh, whose oh, job yeah. is to sneak. <laughs> Honor Red, thank you for the host, brother. Cow! Yeah. Uh, can I send Rowena and be like, can you very carefully not make any raven noises, but fly around? Cow! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah! <laughs> Shoot, Rowena. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and have her make a stealth check. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, <laughs> fudge. <laughs> oh, are we going straight? Is that our... All right, so oh. it takes her a couple minutes and she flies back and she reports to you. Uh, there are... Seven of them in here. There are... Three rooms. Split up into twos. And one by itself. Okay, thank you, Rowena. You're welcome. 
I'll relay this to the party. As you're all huddled in this alcove, what are you doing? I think we should go up and try to see if we can get a better look at what's going on. Yeah. We all see that that beastie in there, right? Yeah, you all see that one. And then uh, Rowena reported that there are a total of seven of them split up into groups of two each, right? So two, two, and two. And then one by itself in a room by itself. Let's do something we've never done before and tactically get the advantage on our <laughs> opponent through clever gameplay and wise decision making. I don't know. That's going to be up to you then. All right, let's blow it. All right. Coordinate us. <laughs> You're the tactician. I mean, You're the tactician. Uh, I mean, our tactics are pretty much shoot them. Yeah, let's go right now. So let's you begin. see uh, a Terrafolk walk across this way. Oh God, I'm so screwed. <laughs> so do we try and stealth past them? Or I mean, well, tactically, what we could do, I don't know anything about these creatures, but we could just hold them in a chokehold right here and just fire at them. But like pretty much as long as <laughs> we don't get surrounded, we're okay. Actually, we could just move out into the hallway and fight our way from there. And he crosses back the other way. <laughs> He's patrolling. So it would be me and Vim on point. Yeah. And then everyone else just uh, shoot Would it your, help to cast a little fog for cover? Ooh. They'd probably get suspicious as soon as they saw it. Yeah. Maybe, and then we maybe can't after we get a surprise. I don't know. Let's get a surprise round in and then do our foggy if we need to. That'll be our escape. We'll be like, Ninja Vanish. Ninja Vanish! <laughs> so we should... Just try and sneak through, are you saying? Or no, we need to take I'm, I'm saying we need to take them out. We just yeah. don't want to get ganged up on. Yeah. I'm saying me and Vim, we walk out or whatever, and I fire an arrow at them to get you know, we all attack at once, get our sneak attack around, and then wait for them to come to us. Because we'll be in position. But couldn't we ask them to leave <laughs> instead of talk? just killing them? I could talk to them. I'd love to just yeah, let's let's do what you said. Let's do it. I don't know what the odds of are that of, of that working, but it's a great plan what you just said, and I think we should absolutely do it. <laughs> I step aside, Kazara, to either way. Let's do my arm out and like, if you think they can be reasoned with. I definitely, my Throck senses are telling me he's just going to dunk us if we don't do something. I really want to do something. Yeah. The guard is uh, crossing again. Let's, let's, let's do a, a Spence I mean, plan. Jack straight up said that these are aggressive, hostile creatures, right? So she, yeah, they're, sure. yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. they're not going to be reasonable. Also, FYI, Nanny Poo Poo told you they murdered an entire village and piled their bones at the gate. Just so, I, mean, I don't think I'm we can... So I mean, we can convince it. them that maybe there's no more bodies here. But yeah, I think... Uh, sneaky. Sneaky McSneakerson here. Mm -hmm. That's my new name. All right, everyone. Ready I'm going to wait till attacks. he passes. Because we'll, we'll fire I'm, on fire. I'm going to stealth to right here. I'm going to wait till he passes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm, and I'm and, oh no, yeah, of course. This time he he goes right around there, doesn't he? Oh wait, where do you oh. want him here? Yeah, I want I'm him not, like, I'm not gonna. This can... is exactly the same path he went last time, by the way. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, then I want to have been here. Okay. Because there's a wall right here, from what I could probably yes. tell. Yeah, that's a wall. Didn't yeah, see that's me a wall. Some, I'm, I want to fire on him. I'm stabbing him. I want to stab him with wrath. Okay. Oh, this, yeah. Is that now? That's sneak attack and advantage and everything. Uh, yes. And I will have everyone roll initiative, please. Oh, it's never happened. I get the this attack so first, great. though, right? You do. You will all get your attacks first. Oh, okay. man. I'll roll initiative. And then we'll, yeah. you will oh. get your attack first no matter what you roll, because that makes narrative it's sense. Only... And then everyone else will get it. I thought we were going to lose that. it. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, I tried to click on initiative, and it skipped to my fucking horror staff. Yeah. 
Please remember to click upon your there token before rolling initiative. Wow. I did it right this time. Token. DM, I did it right this time. You did. Everyone did uh -huh. it correctly. All right. Capital. Capital, my friends. Capital. It's only right. been 19 episodes. We should know how to use the by now. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right. So are we stabbing, stabbing? Yeah. Yeah. And you were first anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. Ka-chow! All right. You hit it. Ka-chow! For 13. <laughs> All right. So in this flash of blades, you hear this <laughs> as you stab into the back of him. And we need uh, combat music, people. We need combat music in here. Bonus action. Dun, 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 dun. music. Uh, back over here. <laughs> and I am attempting to hide behind that wall. So he's be like, the hell? Make a stealth check. I'm going to stealth so good. So good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. All right, so Byer's going to come out and cast Toll the Dead. He's going to walk to here where he can see. Cast Toll the Dead. Uh, needs to make a wisdom saving throw. It fails. Uh, for 8, 9, 10, 11 points of damage. Bong! As you hear these mystical, sad bells ring through the whole cavern. And that's Byer, Jackson. I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers. Cloud of Dagger Dagger? On this guy. All right. Do, 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 do. And Doink. there's a Cloud of Daggers. I'm just going to stay oh, where I, I am. Bryn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me roll Bryn's initiative. Oh, yeah. Roll, how dare you, sir? How, how dare you, sir? How dare you, sir? How dare you, sir? All right. We'll just put her in right now. Have, uh, have Bryn go. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. Um, uh, I want to... Uh, did She's you want to do something smart. else first, Jax? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just, okay, I wanted to cast that at uh, level three, and then okay. I want to, I'm going to Inspire Buyer. Inspire Buyer? Yeah, Inspire yeah. Buyer. Only could you, how do you Inspire um, Buyer? I I'm making sweet, go. sweet love to that tree. Mm. Get that one. <laughs> You know what? I'm actually going to go right up to him and give him a big old smooch on the face. Aww. And hey, you've be never like, go ahead. Go get him. Like in the in the tense moment, I just feel the need to like go wish him good luck. Aww. He looks tiger. at you with this look of determination because goes, hmm, we can do this. <clears throat> yes, you can. Yes, we can. Oh, well, nine years ago. All right, uh, and then let's do Bryn. Okay. Uh, she's going to cast Hunter's Mark here mm -hmm. on that one. And then fire, or not fire, please. Loose her arrow. Loose! Uh, she can see, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, she's good. Um, kapow! Oh, that just hits. Kapow! And you hear this ah! as it goes down. Boink. Anything uh, else? She's gonna stay right where she is, and yeah. All right, uh, and then it's Sven. I will. Oh, he killed it! God damn! Well, shit. Uh, I'm gonna walk up here then. Ah, can I see any? I can't say I can. You see that and one? Fire my arrow at that one. Who is asleep, so uh, you roll with advantage. He's oh, prone. What? You oh, get wait, advantage. To hit. He's prone. He's not awake yet, because it's, it's a surprise round. We didn't put him to sleep, though, right? No, but oh. he is asleep. He was literally just Got sleeping. It. Right there. Perfect. Yeah. I will disturb Sorry, his I slumber. Yeah. I told you guys, he was sitting there in a nest. Kind <laughs> of... <laughs> yep, absolutely hits. Aha. Got him. And yeah, hard to I miss with a plus it. eleven, actually. Okay. <laughs> now he's awake. And attack two hits. <laughs> oh, I love my plus five dexterity. Another thirteen. Uh, and he he seems a little pinned to the ground actually. With that, like it goes through his wing, and he's like, Ugh. and now he's kind of awake and trying to drag himself up. Kazar. 
And I would like to draw my rapier and yeah, shield for the rest of my turn. Can I do that? Done. Kazar uh, looks at Byron and says, get your old spells and cast Toll the Dead on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a cleric spell too. Uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, he fails. All right. Be dead, Toll. Be told. <laughs> or, yeah, uh, it would be 2d12, but that's still enough to kill him. Uh, as you just see this blood kind of start running out of his ears as he hears the bell. And, and kind of limply lays on the ground. But you do get the feeling that the place is now alerted to your presence as you hear scrabbling off in one direction, more of these... And, like, this, this hawkish cry from off in the distance. This is going really well. Yeah. <laughs> that never happens. But no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're back to the top of the round with Vim. Vim is going to zip right here uh, and look down this way. Okay. Somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Boink. Mm, boink. Let's see. You would get down to, like, here. There. And then you would get this way down to, like, this. Doink. Uh, there is an obviously active and angry terror folk starting to walk in your direction. Yeah. I don't have line of sight on him, do I? Uh, you gotta step out one more. Ooh. Okay. Um, that was one, two, three, four. Do I have line of sight here? You do. It has cover. Yeah. It has cover? I don't want cover. We'll go one more. Okay. Uh, as you get in there, works. let me reveal the rest of that for you. Boink. 25. Boink. 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 Okay, there we go. Sweet. Sweet. All right, now I will, uh, with my... Oh, that's not me. That's that's Brim. See what's going on here? Okay. Um. Oh, do, 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 do. What do I have? I have... Assassinate, which gives me advantage on attack rolls on a creature that has not taken a turn in combat yet, so I have advantage. Do I also have sneak attack as well on this, or is he alerted too well? He is alerted to your presence, and you're standing in broad daylight. Well, torchlight. Okay, so no sneak attack, but I will pull my short bow and take my shot. That, yes. Vim, not now. That's a terrible time to pull your short bow and take shots. We're in the middle yeah. of combat. Shots, 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 shot, shot. I just need to drink. Shut up. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, yeah, 10 damage. <laughs> what? All right, do I see... Uh, You know what? I'm going to use my bonus action to dash. There's nothing in here in this room where that I could hide behind, correct? Uh, No, not really. No, not really. Okay, yeah. well then I will take my bonus action to dash... One of the terror folk, maybe. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Because <laughs> I only use 25 of my speed. I've got... 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 15, 20. I'll just move back to here. Okay. For your advanced dashy thing. Awesome. Uh, Brent. Yeah. Bryn is going to follow suit. She's got 35 feet of movement, I think. Yeah. She wants to... I can move through... I can move through threes unimpeded, right? Yeah, you through. can... Any friendly, you can move through unimpeded. Okay, so... Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Like that. Okay. She's going to move her hunter's mark to this one. Okay. And... Fire. Is that this? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a hit. Absolutely, 100%. Or 11? 11. 11. Yep. 11. Sweet. Uh, buyer. Okay, she wants to oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. She still has 10 feet of movement. She has 45 she has feet five, of movement? 15, 20, 20. Oh, no, she has still 5 feet of movement. She has 35, so I'll just... Okay. I'm just going to take one step back right here. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Byrus is going to move up and prepare himself in a healing manner for whatever might be coming. Uh, and then Jax. You're muted. You're I would muted. like to... Um... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you please mute yourself? <laughs> oh my god, why, why are you so noisy? Now is not the time for honking, okay? <laughs> I could, I could know myself. I had to hunk. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go closer. Um, okay. I'm going to use my feline speed yeah. to move over here and okay. actually cast... Uh, oh, you're once a day. Move really quick. Priestess sex, babe. Okay. So wisdom saving throw? Um... Yeah, and uh, it's, yeah, Wisdom saving throw uh, 14. Okay, one of them makes it, uh, the top one makes it, the bottom one, oh no, the bottom one makes it, the top one does not. So what happens to it? Uh, as a command, I would like to command halt. He stops. Anything else? And as you glow um, in righteous glory and feline hotness. I don't know. What else? Can I cast a spell or does that count as a spell? Uh, I think, what does it say in the, the book? Does it say it's take your action or to, to, as a bonus action or as a reaction? Um, Sven, be thinking about what you're going to do as she looks it up. Uh, it's, it just says you can charge your performance for at least 10 minutes. Wait, sorry. Um, as a bonus action, bonus you action. take on the appearance. Yeah. Yeah. So you still get your action. Okay. Um, yep. I will cast, um, so which one of them is held? Uh, this one is not going to move towards it. No, nope, do the this one. Doink. Um. Okay. Um. Actually, I'll just use. I'll. I'll. I'll cast thunder wave. Okay. On um, both of them. Yep. You should be able to get both relatively easily. Okay. Yeah. It's a fifteen foot square, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, you use fifteen by fifteen. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Cool. Uh, so that is a constitution saving throw for both of them, is that correct? Yes. Uh, what's the DC on it? 14. All right. Uh, the top one fails, the bottom one saves. Uh, okay. So they will take so some form of damage. So that I wanted to cast it at level two. Okay. So that's 3d8. Okay. Whoa, holy god. Wow. All right, this one just gets blown back into the wall and uh, and, and dies. He's like, <laughs> and kind of slides off of it. Uh, this one didn't look as hurt from it. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Kazara. Wait, wait where what did about I go? Sven? Oh, I'm sorry. I had it down to you already. Sven. Okay, cool. Thank you for uh, calling me on my poop. That's okay. Um, can I go one, two with this corner here, or is it a hard corner? You can go with that corner there. Nice. One, yep. two, three, four. I don't think it matters here. Five, six. Can I see this guy? You may, You can't see that guy. Oh. All right. Oh. Give him, give him, give him, give him a spicy. Would you like some spice? spicy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be showing up. That's your new quote life. for the art. Grandpa spicy boy. Get Done. ready for Grandpa spicy boy. <laughs> uh, Jax can't harm. Holy. 
crit. Oh, you don't have advantage on this for any reason, so you get the 21. Right. I'm sorry. Oh. So not a crit. That's okay. All my strikes are crits in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I get a crit you want to see in the world. Ignore that. Um, what did I... Ignore so that you're not going to get the plus one. You'll do the 10 damage to him. Rats. <laughs> oh, thank you for the... Um, uh, the Chirino, Mr. Castle Mac. Oh my god, for Spicy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else, Sven? Spicy Boy, please? Already got you with the damage. No, wait. My, my boy. Ignore the damage. I meant yeah. to do this one. There that go. hits? Just a 30. A small 30. Just hits. Bare... Just hits. Ah. All right. And he goes down. Wow. Goes. I feel very good. <laughs> I right. am happy about this outcome. <laughs> Kazara. Uh, have we killed everything? What's... Uh, you don't see anything in front of you at the moment, although What's Rowena there for me did... To do? <laughs> there are three uh, more in this I cave am... somewhere. Come bask in our glory. I'm just gonna move here. And I still can't see anything. And since I can't see anything, I'm not going to do anything else. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, wait. When you come down there, you see... I'll reveal this. Cause, yeah, you're far enough down. Bink. There is uh, another Terra Folk down there. Beep. Oh, another one? Well, in that case... Uh... Wow! 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 Okay, wow! Okay, Squinch. wow! Squinch! We've all Squinch. become Owen Wilson. I can reach to all the dead from here. And so it be written, so shall it be done. <laughs> so let it be written. Oh god, not that. Alright, so DC 15 wisdom saving throw. It rolled a 1. It takes 9 necrotic damage. Because it is not wounded and therefore would take the D8. Boink! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, anything else, Kazara? Kazara. No, that's it. Okay, I need to reveal some extra stuff here because Jet, you guys can see some stuff. Boink, yeah. Boink. There we go. Boink. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's about right. All right. So, uh, it's the Terra folks go. Finally. Uh, finally. Well, you guys did get two rounds on them, right? Yeah, we did. This one flies up to you, Kazara. This bottom one here and lands right in front of you. One flies up and lands in front of Jax. Attack of opportunity? No, it just no, no. And then Porque one. Porque no! Porque no! Porque no! Porque no! But porque no! <laughs> they get to go sooner or later. All right, uh, we'll start with Kazara. It's, you're, he's gonna get three attacks on you, a bite and two claws. <laughs> Of course. Oh, no. Dios mio. <laughs> oh, Dios, Dios mio. Dios mio. Oh, queen. <laughs> it just kind of starts looming over you. It's like, and, and takes a swipe at you and bites. It bites and swipes. Oh, the old bite uh, and swipey. The old it'll hit you swipey. twice, once with its claw, once with its bite. Its bite is 2d4 plus 2. Boink. Uh, for 4, 5, 6, 8 points of damage, its claw does... Yeah, eight points of damage from the bite, and you then can from take the what, claw, <laughs> right? And then I can from take the... all of it. Ooh. As many as you've got. Game over. Just, Game over. Just, just the eight points. And uh, and then six more points of damage from the claw. You pterodactyl. <laughs> uh, all right. So Jax, also AC thirteen, takes two claws and a bite. Um, oh, well, only hit with a bite. A Rolling nibble. a couple of twos. Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah. uh, for four, five, six, seven, eight points of damage, as it kind of <laughs> takes a bite out of your shoulder. And then the last one's going to chuck two javelins at you, Jax. Oh, God. Uh, crits on one, hits on the other. All right. Uh, let's see. Those are 46 plus two for the first javelin. Uh, oh god, I rolled three sixes! Oh, 18, god. 19, 20, 21 points of damage 
from the first javelin as you literally feel it come through you and out the other side. And there's just blood. Blood. I've also updated your character sheet so that when you remove hit points, it'll show up on a little bar on the yes. tabletop. So please it. do remember yes. to do that. Right? So, so that's going to be 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, awesome. 21. 21 points from the first one. <laughs> from the first one. <laughs> and then 6 Bye, points Jack. from the second one. See you later. Yeah. I can't see her, so I don't know what's going on. 27. Yeah. Plus. Oh, I'll narratively describe it today. 6 is 33. You've taken, oh my god! You've taken 33 points of damage this round. 33? Total, yes. I am down! Oh no! They finally got a oh. turn. They stabbed her! And they what stabbed do you mean? her again! Finally! <laughs> hey, hey, Jax, mark your missing hit points on your character sheet. Oh, I I did it on my character sheet. Uh, I'll just do it on the bar thing. Oh no, it's supposed. It's not. It hang on. I want this to work because it's neat. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, so your current hit point should be zero. It says thirty-one. There you go. Oh. oh I... See now you have an empty bar. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's because of the top Aww. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, only I see can't see the bar though. Yeah. Yeah, I can see your bars, which is what matters. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> but you don't make your, your your hit point maximum zero because your hit point maximum is always the same. It's always thirty one. Cool. Otherwise, you would have literally zero hit points all the time. All right, that was the terraforms. Vim. I knew they were assholes. So did I? Did, did I assume she went like? And then like, uh, I'm gonna say due to the, the the sheer amount of damage she took, it was too quick for her to react, and it's just this, and she's down. So I wouldn't know that happened. Okay, yeah. then I'm going. Sven to... and Bryn do. Yeah. That, yeah, that's, I'm screaming yeah. about it. All right, okay, so I... that's narratively. Do I know that Jax just went down? No. Yeah. No. Oh what? No, I'm screaming no, about it. I don't it. think you so. can't no, scream I'm... about it. Not on your turn. Yeah, on your turn, you, you can. You speak so on your what, turn. Yeah. I'm just going to keep my short bow out and take shots at this one that's okay. in Kazara. Um, Bring those. Yeah. Jax is down. Yeah, but yeah, it's not her turn either. Um, Indeed not. I don't, well, let's see. Hang on. I can do 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Actually, if I move to here, I'm flanking, right? Uh, No. Not with Kazara? No, you'd have to be here, 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 or here. You'd have to be in an opposite Five, row ten, from her. This 15, puts you at a 45 degree angle. Shit. Well, then I didn't want to move. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just use my short bow and go for it. Okay. Uh, I don't have any advantage or any sneak attack at all now, right? Just regular short bow? Uh, yeah, no sneak attack right now because you didn't stealth last turn. <laughs> no, didn't need it. You're good to go. Uh, ten. ten. That's ten. Ten. All right. And then, and then I'll, eh, yeah, I'll use my movement to come up here with it. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I'll use my movement to get right next to her, actually. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay, uh, Bryn. Bryn is like, um, no, no, mm -mm, no. I'm, and she's it's gonna, like she's here. She's going to run wait, wait, right did, here. Did Bryn get into the... To, do I hear Bryn? Is she in the and She's going to cast Cure Wounds on Jax. Okay. Uh, I got to look up how this works, so hang uh, on. What's your question? I can probably just tell you. I'm reading it. It says a creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus spell casting, so plus 6. 1d8 plus 6. Spellcasting um, modifier? Should be like, unless she has a 22 wisdom, should be plus For her four. spell. Oh, it's not spell attack bonus? Oh, no. it's no. a spell casting modifier, yeah. Oh, okay. So wisdom, so it would be a plus 3. Yeah. Okay. 
1d8 plus 3. Uh, second level or higher. One yeah, you get an extra d8, d8 per level. Uh, we'll cast it at second level. Okay, that's 2d8 plus 3. Do I ro roll that? Yeah. Okay, slash r space 2d8 plus 3. 15 points. So, Jax, your wounds start to close up. Uh, you still are impaled, um, but you are now awake. Um, and then she... And took 15 hit points, 555. Five, five. She really doesn't have anything else she can do. Okay. So she'll, she'll just step back here. All right. Did she relay that Jax was down, or did she just go, No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, she's, yeah, she just, yeah, no, she didn't because she just went and took care of it. She didn't, okay. She did uh, not scream about Jax being down, no, she okay. just took care of it. Sweet. Uh, then Byer is going to shoot Sacred Flame at this Terra Folk here. Cat's okay, just regular. Uh, three. Okay. Uh, it's gonna. Do, 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 DC, nope, doesn't make his dexterity saving throw. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, what's the second one for? So it should only be 2d8. Why is it rolling? Oh, I should have... Whatever. It's 2d8, so it'll be 8 points of damage. Uh, which is enough to take it down. And you hear this... Yes! Ah, is this, like, greenish sort of natural light with this, this, like, glowing sparkles in it, like, slam into its chest, and it just... Down. Ooh. And next is uh, Jax. You have a thing sticking through you, but you are on the ground, but you are alive. I... I don't know if it's okay to remove this thing. Um, do I... Do I leave it in or do I take it out? Do I leave it in or do I take it out? No, 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 yeah. Because some are longer than others, so. Yeah, that, that's 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 a true fact in nature. And these guys are big, so they build things javelin. to their life, to their, to their to their size. You know. That's how you throw it. Oh god. What are you doing, Jax? Um. I think I am gonna try and stand. Okay. Yeah, you can get up. It feels weird because you have Ugh. extra bits. Yeah. Um. And if I still have, it hasn't been one minute, because if I still have the, if I'm still cloaked in fey magic, I would like to command. Uh, you lost it when you passed out. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will. Uh, um, I don't know. Um. Uh, cast. Um, hold person. Okay, there you go. Okay. There's a thing. You cast hold person. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. It rolled mm -hmm. a one. It is held. Okay. Boop. And. And then I just ask, Hey, can I get a little help with this uh, javelin? Sticking out of my belly. Mm -hmm. in my belly. Anything else? Um. And I'll. Uh. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sven. I'm going to run up here. And first, as a bonus action, I will say to Jax. It is all right. I am at your side. We will fight through this together. To rally her! Rally! 
to get the uh, get the uh, Wow. Nice. Eleven temporary hit points. Oh, awesome. Yep. Then I'm because... gonna do use my oh yeah. No no please go. Is it eight or eleven? It's eleven, it's plus three, it's plus oh. his uh one of his oh, okay. yeah, bonuses, so it's eleven. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna run up and strike the beast twice. Strike like this. the beast. It is held, so you have advantage. Oh, don't. It doesn't matter, you hit anyways. But you can see if you crit, you don't crit. Okay, yeah. roll damage. Oh. Seven? Okay. And for the <laughs> second attack. It. Yes. Thank you for using Toggle Advantage. I love you. For seven more. Incredibly consistent. <laughs> You're welcome. I need to look up one thing. Mm, and, and, well, no, I think we're fine here. When did you get your wisdom saving through? Does it, do you yeah. get anything? Okay. Uh, you should start the token. Oh, no. It is literally just on its turn it can make the saving throw. Okay. Anything else, Sven? Mm, no. I will. I'm, I will. I'll be done. Okay. Uh, Kazara. Uh, well. Uh, I don't think I can reach from here. This is gonna be... Can I see from here? By next to Bryn? You, uh, can you see to there? Yeah, you can see next to Bryn. Okay. I will cast... Scorching Ray! Scor- 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 scorching Ray! Alright, roll to hit three times. Miss. Hit. Miss. Okay, so one of them hit. Oof. Doink. Uh, for seven more damage. That's a lot of damage. He looks really screwed up. Anything else? Um, can I? Oh, I'm too far from... Jax to give her a potion. Uh, can I reach and give Jax one of my lesser potions of healing? Sadly, not from there. It okay. also takes your full turn to feed a potion to someone else. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah. that's it. Or a, a, it takes your action to do it. Anything? Okay, so Terra, folks. Uh, this guy needs to make a wisdom saving throw at the end of his turn. He does. He shakes it off, but he'll probably be dead by the time it's his go. And then this guy's going to come around like this. Because the other guy can't move and he can't fit through that other thing. So I think he attacks Jax. I think that's what makes the most sense. Poor Jax. Two bites, two claws, and a bite. Uh, only hits once. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of damage as he just kind of rakes across you. Actually, he doesn't even do that. What he does is he takes the javelin and he just kind of wrenches on it. Uh, for 10 points of damage. Okay. And that's. Tear a dick move. Tear a dick move, dude. I just told you. Uh, Vim. Uh, Vim is going to. Let's uh, measure distance here. I'm going to. Can I get to here? A dash. Oh, Bree Beer, thank you. 60 feet away. Uh, you can dash to 60 feet. Yeah. Um, you cannot yeah. move through those guys. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. I know you keep looking for advantage. It's a tough place I'm to get trying. advantage in. Yeah. But what about. Okay, what if I'm. 20. Don't you only need to strike an enemy that an ally is next to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get advantage if you're next to them. Oh, well, then, yeah, I can make it to easily. I don't think you get advantage, but you get sneak attack. Yeah, that's how I get my sneak attack, because I have to be within five feet, right? As long as one of my allies is within five feet of the enemy, I get sneak attack. Correct. I just don't get advantage unless I'm thinking, which I can't flank, but I'll get sneak attack. I'm running right up to this guy and stabbing. Uh, Now that you're here, it's combo time. It is combo time, brother. Uh, sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Duking on that ass. Just duking on it. Uh, that actually Roll hits. Good. Yeah. Oh, good. Awesome. Boom. They're big. Oh, God. For 18 points of damage. With your first hit, just rips into his gut and, like, 
gunk is spilling out of him at this point. It looks kind of gross, actually. And I think I'm done because I used my bonus action to dash to this point. Okay. And I just look at Jax and I'm like, oh, damn it. Uh, all right. And then Bryn. Uh, Bryn moves her hunter's mark to the one that was held. Yeah, that guy. Oh, no, the hunter's mark fell because you took the cure wounds action without moving the hunter's mark in between. Oh, son of a biscuit. Um, boop, boop. Is hunter's mark a cantrip? No, it's first level spell. It's a first level mm -hmm. spell? Mm -hmm, I believe so. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Um... Well, oh, oh my god, I've screwed up so bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, god, I can't... I've, she's had extra attack this whole time and I forgot. Um, okay, so she's going to do Sharpshooter. Yeah, for minus 10. Or for, minus uh, something for additional damage. Yeah, it's uh, minus 5 to the attack roll, mm -hmm. and if it hits, plus 10 to damage. Yep. On... The one that was held. Okay. Yeah. Let me find. So whatever. I, I totally clicked it. I feel like you're breaking up a little bit. No. Am I breaking up a little bit? No, Van, uh, Than's uh, frozen. Yeah. Okay. Well, you hit. Did we lose him? He's back. Oh, okay, sweet. Oh, no. Oh, he's oh, down. Oh, 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 oh. Cameras will be weird for a moment. Please hold. All right. I'm sorry. I That's refreshed. all right. For nine points of damage? Yeah, let me fix cameras here real quick. Boop, sorry. Boop. 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 It's like playing, uh, uh, you go here. Okay. Tetris. It's like playing, it is like playing Tetris. I go there. All right, so. Ooh, I'm Kazara. You are Look at Kizara. me. I'm so sexy. Wow. <laughs> I'm Jax. I am. I am the new princess. Uh, All right, there we go. Boink, and we're back. All right. Sweet. I'm Sven. I'm sexy. I'm sexy. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm I think about. I'm a sexy, spicy boy. <laughs> sexy. He's the spiciest. Yeah, that's the way. There we go. Okay, cool. So uh, the minus five on the 19 still hits, right? The minus five? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so that does 19 the piercing damage. 19. He goes and goes down. Damn right he does. Extra attack. Yeah. Uh, on the other one. And no sharpshooter or anything like that. No That's sharpshooter. No just... sharpshooter. It's <laughs> and down. Right. <laughs> She's, um, excuse me, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, you're a guys are out of rounds, man. I look down at Jackson. I'm like, okay, um, okay. Um, Fire comes running over goes, no, 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 no. I think yeah. I got this. I think yeah, we got this. Please. I think yeah. we got this. Oh, okay, just, just stand still. Just, hold oh, Just stand still. This is going to feel really weird. Okay, one second. I got to make a medicine check. One, one, one minute. Uh, Can Bryn trainer? help? Uh, does Bryn have trained medicine? It's not a proficiency. She... Yeah, if she is not proficient, she cannot help. Okay. Sorry. Okay, just, just stand still. Just stand still. He rolled a 24. All right. This is going to feel really weird. And then, like, he pushes it out the back of you. And he, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he holds your stomach. And he's like, uh, okay. Okay, one second. Uh, I'm going to cure wounds on this. I'm going to hang on. Uh, at level two, he'll do a level two cure wounds. Boink. It's 2d8 plus five. Oh, no. 2d8 plus, like, six. Because he's, a, he's a, a life cleric. Uh... 28 D8 plus 30. 98 plus 55. Oh, I just dropped the dice. So that's 7, 13, four, 15 points of help, uh, healing. Oh. Okay, okay. You're okay. Oh, that was really scary. Oh. That was really scary. That was really scary. You. You're welcome. You okay? I think I'm okay now. Okay. 
I'm just kneeled down next to her, and I'm like, "Take all the time you need. Do you do you want to stand up? Are you good to hear?" Do you need some sexual healing. Give you guys a minute. <laughs> sexual healing. Do you get that? I, do you have that feeling? I hug. I go and hug Bayer and like just like squeeze him like really tight. He's really hard. Because he's a tree. <laughs> because he's a tree. <laughs> tree. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll give him a kiss on the cheek. Oh. Trees can't blush, but he would bless blush. Uh, Vim would like to explore this cavern. Okay. I bet you would. Explore this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, investigation check. Sure. I mean, why not? I mean, that's yeah, the one. Yeah, no, right? no, absolutely. That is the one. Give your little uh, six. Oh, let's click that, and then let's click that. You. Yeah. <laughs> Did I find the cure? Uh, no, you guys do find kind of nested in some of these like really old rotten nested. There's a bunch of bones here too, from what are obviously humans yeah. and other humanoids. Uh, most of the flesh is kind of rotten at this point. Um, you do find a uh, hundred gold, uh, kind of scattered about the place. I, I, I share it all evenly. Oh, that's nice that's of you. Yeah, that is very nice of you, Vim. That's not like you at all, Vim. I mean, that's very nice of you, Vim. I mean, it's scattered about the place. Oh, he's the only one looking for it, though. Yeah, I'm the only one that said I was looking for it, so I found it. Well, are you being sneaky here? about it? I'm sure we're... No. <laughs> no. And I, uh, I distribute 20 gold to everybody. Okay. Ooh, my cut. <laughs> I'm gonna squander this on something trivial. I pat Vim on the back, and I'm like, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> It's you're a long really, ahead. you're really coming into your own. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All right, what are you guys doing? I don't know what. <laughs> What's he coming into? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't what are we coming into, into? Zara? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I want to know what the sentence is. God, it's over. It, we missed it. Damn it. Yeah, yeah it's lost. It's <laughs> gone. It's all right. It's lost. Is it? He hey. said I was coming into my own, and he said, in his own what? In his own what? No, I heard that part. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was I involved? Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? Uh, I think we should go back to Nana Boo Boo and tell her that we have eliminated the pterodactyls. What a bunch Wait, of yeah, dictals. We, we took this place down. We give this place the good old shakedown. We have. Yeah, that was, I mean, I I got a twelve on my investigation and found a hundred gold. Dope. And a bunch of rotten bones. So, um, just to reveal the rest of the place for you guys. Oops. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You can go wherever you want. I didn't. So I didn't off know the it. edge over here on the like the southwest corner is Sheer Cliff. It's a drop. There's like this cut into the, uh, the side. You're about you're about forty feet off the top of the mesa, and so you're kind of just staring straight down. It reminds you, uh, as human beings, not as your characters, but just to give you a feel for it, like, if you have seen uh, Game of Thrones when they're in the airy, and uh, Tyrion Lannister's in, like, the Ares version of a prison, which is, like, this big, open, kind of vaguely slanted, that's what it feels like when you step out there. Like, if you get too close, it's going to be like, whoa! Nice. We'd best not go out that way. Yeah. So, shall we head back? Yes, let's go back to Nana Poo Poo. Okay. Um, it, you guys don't even need, need to make athletics checks to go up because there's no danger of combat on the way up, so you can't fuck anything up really. It's just going to take you some time to get everybody back up. Uh, and then you start your walk back. And as you do, Bayer actually kind of pulls Kazara away from the group. Um, could we talk to you for a second? Well, certainly. Is everything all right? I'm confused. I I need I'm here to listen. What, I'm, I what need is advice. It? Um So, uh, first of all, 
you and Jax and Bryn are all one type of person. And Vim and Sven are another type of person. And I've noticed there are generally, amongst people who aren't like us, two types of people. We don't have that so much. I kind of get it, right? Like, but I don't really get it. What is that all about, first up? Because I don't understand. Well, what, what do you mean by two types of people? Like, technically, Jax is not a person. She's a cat-like well, creature. She She's a person. And Bryn's technically an elf, and you're technically a whatever you are, but you're all people. That's fair. But, I well, mean, there is... You mean we have girls and yes. people like Sven and Vim? Yes. Like, okay. we don't have that I so see. much. And so it is confusing to me a little. And it is extra confusing because Jax keeps being very nice to me. And I don't understand how this all works because this isn't We're all part of a colony. We're a bunch of trees that normally just tree. So this is weird, and I don't understand it. Do you not have inter-tree personal relationships? We seed, mostly. We have seeds, and they drop. And then the community about, takes care of them. What about emotions? Do you have emotions? I do. Within your community? Yes. How do you uh, how do how do you how do those emotions differ among members of the colony? Well, I I I saw in the city people physically interacting with each other in a way more intense but similar to the way Jax just physically interacted with us, and I don't really understand what it means. Well, I th yeah, I think I liked it, but I don't understand it. Good, that's good. That's good that you liked it. Um, what does it mean? So, it sometimes uh, us people, as you refer to us, people like things, we, we develop affinities towards other members of uh, the more or less human race. Um, that just tends to happen with things that emit emotions in some way. It's bound to happen. I think Jax is uh, drawn to you and feels a kind of connection to you. I can't speak for her and what she wants, but... Okay. I would say she has a preference to you more so than other people in the group, you know. How does that work? How do I say this delicately? She wants to mate with you for life, perhaps? Or maybe just a little while? It's just, it's a romantic thing. I don't know if you have a word for romance. Or mating. These two words are both mm -hmm. foreign to me. Um, you want to put your body parts on each other I did like in that. a mutually consensual way. Oh. But I'm a, like, a tree. I can't imagine anybody would... I don't... Okay. Okay, maybe not so much body parts, but, like, your... Your your, your souls are more drawn to each other than oh, they would be to other souls. So, you are all about fate and stuff, right? Yes. Do you see something fatey between... I don't know how to put it, I'm sorry. But between Jax and I? I... I would be remiss if I didn't try and make a connection with the fact that we're all here together and you, this particular tree person, were to be... Uh, what's the word? Beholden to this particular tabaxi person? 
Because I felt very I scared mean, when she was impaled. I don't normally feel scared. And it was more than scared? It was like... I was more worried about her being impaled than I would have been if I were impaled. Does that make sense? It makes sense. That's a good feeling. You should... It's normal to be afraid of feelings because they are very new and foreign to you. That's understandable. But oh. there's definitely a reason for you to be adventuring together and oh. okay. seeing what these adventures bring out of the two of you. Okay. Okay. I'm very confused, but thank you. This was helpful, I think. Yes, this was helpful. I would just trust your feelings and do what makes you happy and just make sure that everyone's on board. No pun intended. Uh, uh, that's really funny. <laughs> thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, sure. And then he'll walk kind of back up to the group, looking confused. Uh, I want to go up to Vim and, and be like, um, <clears throat> hey, Vim. Nice. So, um, <laughs> I think I kissed a tree. Um, does that mean, I, but is that weird? Does that mean, like, I have a fetish for, for, for flora? I mean, I mean, maybe, like, I wouldn't judge you. Do you? I... I think it's just fire. I, I got really caught up. I don't know. I thought we were like in serious danger. We, were, we had a bunch of pterodactyls surrounding us and I was just like, oh, I should kiss him. And then I did. I, I mean, I would say go with what you feel. I don't know him that well. I mean, he's a nice guy. I mean, if you if you like him, you like him. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Do you think there's something wrong with it? I don't. I don't know. I. I think he's like the nicest. I I don't know. I I think he's he's really nice, and he he heals people and. I mean, that's what I kind of admire about him. I admire that he's always helping people. And... I admire it too. So I'm... you think it's a, it's okay, like that I that I just go for it? You, do you think he likes me? <laughs> I I can't speak for them, but speak for the I would say. You only get one chance at this life, and when you're old and your fur is falling out, do you, do you want to be able to say that you tried something new and different? I would want to be able to say that I tried, but that's me. I just don't know. Like, I can't tell. I mean, if he just doesn't, if he really, I can't tell if he, if he likes me the same or not, or I, I maybe I'm just being stupid. I don't know. I, I don't think he knows how to behave in these kind of situations. I mean, he's, his people are not like ours. So, I mean, maybe just talk to him. That's so difficult now, though. Like, I just... I mean, you can't break the ice any more than you have. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be weird. Like, you know, just talk to him. Sit with him. Get to know him. Don't even talk to him about this. Just be around okay. each other. See what happens. I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll just play it. I'll just play it cool. <laughs> Super cool. I would just keep in mind that he probably doesn't pick up on certain social cues like we do. Um, and right. so 
don't take it to heart if he doesn't respond the way you think he might, because he probably doesn't know how to respond. Okay. Thanks, pal. And I just, like, punch him in the arm. And I just, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you guys make your way back to Nanny Poo Poo's hut. I'm going to pull a pterodactyl aside. <laughs> Around <laughs> just the best moment I ever saw. Well, I'm well, just really you. old. That's all I've got going on. Excellent. Well, I like it. <laughs> well done. Okay. So, uh, uh, when you get here, uh, she's actually inside her hut. Planning our do. Planning your do now. Um, Do you have any more of that tea, Nana Poo Poo? It seems to be getting people frisky. I kind of... Oh, oh, are are you back? (laughs) Is Poo Poo a family name? or? (laughs) It's just what they call me. She comes hobbling out. We we did as you asked. We did the thing. Who did you? They're gone. Super easy. We were in and out five minutes. Excellent. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. When you leave, oh, it's so it's so nice to be free of that fear again. I, I'm, just, I'm so happy. I wish I could tell my sisters that we're free. <laughs> she starts crying. Oh, I take it they're dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pat her on the shoulder. I just kind of like just start patting my legs. Just kind of like it was. It was, <laughs> their, it was their fate for them to to pass as they did. I'm sorry to say it, but there's a reason. They're they're where they need to be. You're, you're right. <laughs> They're always with me. They're always with me. <laughs> Sisters, dinner is here. Everybody no, roll initiative. No, Nana Poo Poo. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. And what was once a wonderful old lady in front of you turns into this green-skinned, long, white-haired, serrated-teethed hag woman. Oh no, she looks the same! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, she's gonna take off her clothes! Then feels shocked. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Wonderful might be a stretch. She was always kind of... Oh wow, I rolled really well. What the f- <laughs> GM info overlay, don't need the terrapult anymore. Uh review. Uh, need you. Uh that would be here. I didn't roll for you already, did I? Nope, okay, so here, point. Alright, where are we at, guys? Uh, descending. Okay. Oh, that's cool. What? Well, I'm looking at your initiative rolls. Well, I only rolled once. I mean, three times. To- oh, shut up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so. She does look like she's about to take a big old bite out of Kazara. Oh, she's about to? Yeah, but Vim, you're first. Ha <laughs> Have at you. I, um... Bing! Advantage and sneak attack. Yup. Yeah, be. Hits? For that much. Okay. Okay. Oh. As her Stay lair action, too. She... please. As her lair action, anything else, Vim? You got an uh, offhand attack if you want it. Um, I think I am gonna take it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take my offhand attack. 
Um, still at advantage because of assassinate. Uh, still at sneak attack because of everything, right? It, you only get the uh, no, assassin. No, 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 only yeah, happens right. the first time. Yeah, yeah. No sneak attack. No assassinate on the second attack. Just advantage. Oh, just advantage. Okay. Yep. Uh, boom. Uh, hits. For two. Boom. Okay, Sven. All right, it's combo time. I'm gonna fire an arrow first. Okay. Wait, no. I think the order is. So I start my attack action. I sub one of the attacks for a commander strike. I command Vim Rook to Bishop Four. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you and, do. We uh, play chess. <laughs> you play chess. I move some stuff around. I have zero intelligence. Um, Damn it. And so <laughs> does this, do I get assassinate on this one? No. Okay, Only on so the first attack. attack. Yeah. Just advantage, and I don't get sneak attack. Sneak on attack this only one, happens or? once a turn. Yep. Once a turn, okay. not round. Yeah, once a well, yeah. So this would be my second. You know how this broken sneak attack would be. It is. If, it if, is it, massively broken. Yeah. If you were allowed no, to like no, just keep pinging it off. Uh. Uh-uh. It's just once per turn. Yeah. So this is yeah. But yeah, so I mean, you still hit. Turn, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For six more. Okay. For six more. Does she have a life alert on her? Could we just knock her down? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Maybe she can't get back up. Sven, what else? Uh, he gets an extra eight damage. Okay. And I'm going to shoot my longbow. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that hits. Oh, yeah. I don't have advantage. You don't have advantage, so it misses. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> The arrow flies wide in your attempt to avoid both Kazara and Vim. It th- Do I have handout for that? Hag. I oh, don't yeah. know. Show to players. Show to everyone. She looks like that. If only we had been more insightful. If only we had, if only we had seen through this cunning ruse. Uh, anything else, Sven? No, I'm all done. Okay, you sound depressed. What? Uh, Kazar, you get a free attack of opportunity as Nanny Poopa comes around here. Boop. And Do I also get that? No, he's staying in your threatened area. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't. I'm that. gonna use. Eh, Cannot be a spell. Can't be a spell. It's it can't be a spell. Okay, spell. JK, ignore that. You just have to hit I'm him gonna, with something. I'm gonna fucking cane her in the shins with my core stuff. I like it. <laughs> Get a Nancy Kerrigan that? Uh, miss. <laughs> she seems yeah, oddly yeah. lithe for an ancient wretched hag. Uh, <laughs> and then she goes up and just Vim places her hand on your shoulder, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Alright. Fine. Fine! So the first one is a 17. Okay. Uh, her spellcasting modifier is... It's good if you... It's better if you succeed in... Uh, where, where's my fucking... Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there they are. I don't know how... Like, I have too many tabs up right now. Too many tabs. 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 Uh, oh my god, wait, is it, it's all in Chrome, and Chrome is working. That's so weird. That's so weird, guys. So weird, yeah. That's why I was confused, strange. because it seemed like things weren't working the way they were supposed to originally, and, and now they are. It seems are. to me like nothing is happening. Yeah, all right, so you make Constitution saving throw. Uh, well, her, her spellcasting DC is... Less than 17. Uh, maybe. Fourteen. Uh, no, not fourteen. Okay. <laughs> it is. It is actually not fourteen. I was reading the wrong thing. But you do make it, so you'll take half of eight d eight necrotic damage. Uh, can I? Uh, can I do uncanny dodge to take half that? This is read uncanny dodge to me. When an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. Mm, yes. Yes, you could. 
Uh, so that's good because I just rolled 16, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28, 29, 32, 1, plus 5 is 36. And then 37, 44 points of damage. You take 11 points of necrotic damage. 11, okay. Mm -hmm. And she would still... I don't know what the ruling on that would be. We'll just put it in favor of the players. Okay, there we go. Uh, and that's it. Cause... That's my reaction. I don't have another reaction until my turn comes around. Yeah, Kazara. Ah, uh, let's see. I will. Uh, we'll do Toll the Dead. Okay. Uh, she needs Ooh, to make fuck. a Wisdom saving throw, which she makes. Lesson learned. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, Brynn. Bryn is going to Hunter's Mark her. Okay. And then... I gotta click all this stuff, sorry. Um, then we're going to... Sharpshoot it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that hits. Sharpshooter hits. And so that's going to be an extra... We're going to add 10 to whatever this says. 12, so 22. Okay. Points of damage. Uh, and then she'll do her extra attack. Okay. 12. Does not hit. She did not, okay, yeah. She does uh, not have inspiration. Did she, fire... We all got inspiration. Didn't, didn't you give us all inspiration? Yeah, everybody has inspiration. And I don't think she used it last week, but that's fine. It doesn't Is it marked on her sheet? It's not, but, you know. I don't think she used it either if you want to mark it on there, but. I was going to use it if she had it. Go ahead and use it. Okay. That was a D8. Mm -hmm. Still misses. Shit. Uh, Kazara, Byron runs up to you, puts his hand on your shoulder, and you're going to take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points of healing back. Cool. Gabish. 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 I will take that healing. Hey. All right, Jax. Hey, you think it, you like it. I am going to use this uh, entangle scroll that I've ha actually had for a while um, on her. Um, okay. To, yes, I cast entangle. I cast Entangle. <laughs> I wangle my tangle. Ooh. I'm not sure what Entangle... I'm bringing it up right now. Uh, so you would know what it does. So grasping vines and weeds sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square starting from a point within range. For the duration, this is difficult terrain. A creature, uh, if they they would need to make a, sting, a strength saving throw to move, and if they fail that strength saving throw, then they cannot move and are restrained that turn. Okay. So it's a twenty foot. Oh, oh, Ooh, no, no. Uh, maybe yeah, I don't want to cast that. <laughs> um, can I take it back? You may take it back. Okay. Um, you as a caster would know what that does. So, okay. Yeah. Um. I am just gonna I'm just gonna um use uh move move up and then use thunderclap. Okay. You don't even have to move up to do that, but that's up to you. Oh. If you move uh, up to feet. like here I have flanking. Okay. Uh, she I makes her save, though. I'll move there. So it'll be um, half damage for Thunderclap. Okay. Although, now, if you're there gotcha. and you Thunderclap, you're going to hit Vim. Wait, but it's... Oh. Uh, oh. Right? Ooh. Because Ooh. it's a 15-foot square. Not, not for a Thunderclap. Oh, is, it, is that only the 5-foot? Yeah, I'm thinking Thunder Wave. Yeah. I'm thinking, I was thinking it's Thunder Wave. Yeah. Mabi. My BB. My BB. 
Might be. All right. Yeah, so Thunderclap away. Uh, made the saving okay. throw, so no damage, right? Because it's a cantrip? It's a cantrip, yeah. Yeah, okay. Check and make she sure. She does not get the clap. On a, on a failed save, the creature takes 1d6, so... Okay, 1d6? Oh, no, it's a... Uh, they made the it's save. It's a failed so. save, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, my bad. Okay, cool. Um, and then... Uh, anything else, Jax? Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, give me to the right. You're on the GM info over. Oh, cause I'm the thing up. All right. Uh, do 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 do. do. Beep. Beep. Mm -hmm. So, sister, you called. Vim, you feel this presence of pure necrotic force behind you. And then uh, Jax, from inside the the building, uh, c comes walking out this creature, which you can all see, and I don't actually send, sadly don't have a handout for this one, but the one behind you, uh, Vim, looks like this. And the other one is just oh. this enormous beast. Later, Casmic! Um, and... In, his in her hand, this, like, with all these pustules on her, this large one, she comes out, and as her first attack, she throws the corpse of Ghost at Bryn. <laughs> oh. And hits. Uh, excuse me? For 9, 10, 11 points of damage. And then as her second attack... This is the Anis Hag, by the way. Um, Quick note. Ghost okay. is a familiar that can come back, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure. And as her second attack goes to hug Jax. Oh. Uh, boink. It's no. This and, is not consensual. And does. Uh, you are now... Grappled and restrained, and are going to take some damage. Okay. Oh god, I rolled all those sixes again. 6, 12, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24. 29 points of damage as she just starts squeezing you. Night hack. Wait, sorry, how many points? 29. 29. All of them. Okay. Are you I'm down? I'm almost dead. I've got one left. Well, one and one temporary hit point, so two. Uh, the Night Hag casts Raise Dead on Ghost. You see a broken form of ghost. No. Look at Bryn as if he has been a captive of her for however long ghost has been the familiar. There, Bryn, I know she's not here, so it's kind of poopy, but it's what you guys chose to do. Bryn is assaulted with these visions of anger and hatred coming from Ghost, as if somehow being her familiar was the worst thing that ever happened. Got that. Uh, okay, um, and then uh, we'll just take a swipe at Vim. Uh, real, can, people. I, can I ask a question? Um, how does uh, how does a reaction work? Does it have to be on my turn? It does not. What is your reaction? Uh, counter spell. Oh yeah, uh, go on ahead. The, nice, nicely on done. The bringing him back. Yeah, or... on the raise the dead thing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can counter spell. One hundred percent. 
Roll me, uh, so Counterspell, uh, we haven't used it in a while in either games. Let me just make sure I'm not lying to you about how it works. Uh, it was casting a spell of fourth or lower higher, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Make an ability check. If the, uh, my your spellcasting ability, yes, yeah, so it'll be plus your charisma bonus. Okay. He raises from the dead. And she looks over at you and goes, We are more powerful than you could imagine. <sighs> and then takes an attack on Vin with advantage. Uh, what's your AC, Vin? 16. Uh, all right. So, uh... Oh, we're, I have more D8s to there. Okay, so take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of damage as she just rakes a claw across your back. But it's your go. Uh, huh? Well, guys, um, this is fun. I'm going to bonus action disengage and move back here. And then short bow attack the the main lady. Uh, okay. Hey, Sven. Or Noah? That's me. I just wanted to let you know, I just checked the, the fact um, for D&D, &D, and they clarified it. A rogue can sneak attack once per turn, not per round. Yes. So you were correct. Going forward, I'm not going to, like, rewind, but going forward. Right. Sure. You can do what you just did. It was my fault, and I'll totally cop to it. It was in their Sage Advice articles. Uh, but yeah, you absolutely hit her for five. Okay. Right on. And then that's my... That's your whole That's go. my turn. Sven. It's my turn. I'm going to... This one's not dead, right? Nothing's dead. I don't, I don't know what that symbol means. Oh, that, I'm uh, going to fire heart. at her. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fire at her twice. Okay. With my bow. One. Nice. Okay. And two. Uh, yeah, second one misses. The <laughs> first one hits, and a very good hit it was. No worries. And I will. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna action search and nice. do it again. Yep, yep. Okay. Right, one. And two. Uh, both of them hit. All right, got it. Then I guess I'll just move into melee with her. Uh, hang on. You're going to want to change that move because peppering oh. her with arrows between you and them and all of the crap that happened to her last turn, she was not expecting you all to be this powerful. You see... <laughs> no. No. No! <laughs> and she goes down. <laughs> so, got her and the other two go sister yeah. no and there's like and this run away yeah yeah that's yes no all right uh we we we'll move start. instead then i'll move into melee with this one can you okay if, if, okay metagaming okay. pigeon okay. uh kazara Ah, I was going to drop a fireball, but I don't know if there's a safe way to do that. Unless I drop it on the house. <laughs> oh. uh, where would and you just, try to put it? Like, uh... What's the rate? What's the... 20 feet? How big is it? 20 foot? I think it's like 30? You should read it. Is it? Uh, I think it's like 30? 
to like put it on the other side 20 of the 20 foot sphere. 20 foot, sphere. foot range, 20 foot sphere. So it would so, need to be like, like right here. Yeah, uh, if it is there, it's going to hit Sven, Jax, that guy. And that yeah, guy. so it needs to be a little farther back. Like if maybe it's here. here, you're going to miss the Night Hag, but you're going to hit the Anis Hag, is her name. But if it's here, you're going to hit Jax and Sven. So if it's here. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's a way to do it to not hit Jax. I deserve it. That I only, no! That only I hits. have another idea. It's okay. fine. Yeah, um, they're not do... placed properly for you to do a fireball, it looks like. I mean, there might be a way to do it that I'm not seeing, but... It, it's one or the other. Yeah, okay, that's what so I thought, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move but... here, and I'm going to use Witch Bolt. Fuck yes. Damn it! Wait, can I use my inspiration? No. Witch Bolt only no. atta attaches to... Yeah, you could use your inspiration... You do not know what her AC is, so you never know. If you feel like you can get to what her AC is with that. it's Her AC is clearly a... not an 8. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but that's... I just... Yeah. I mean, it's a... Yeah. Mm. Mm. I really I want to launch a fireball on this mother hag. Uh, can I take back my witch bolt, or is it too late? Because it's fine if it's too late. You, uh, you rolled for your witch bolt. You're right. You're right. I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here goes. No. Nope. Miss. Yeah, that's a miss. I'm sorry. Uh, Bryn, unless you had anything else, Kazar. Uh, no, I don't think I could do anything. Nope. Okay, Bryn. Uh, uh. uh, uh. Ugh. Bren is overcome with emotion and is a little freaked out and is going to move her hunter's mark to uh, this one. Okay. And to uh, this going... one, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. The one by Sven. Okay. She's going to use, uh, use her sharpshooter. Okay. On the attack. Okay. Hit. Uh, seven, eight, nine, nineteen damage on it. Okay. Um, and then is still up. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, that is a magical it bow. Is. Yeah, yeah, that's a magical bow. Okay, cool. It is. Uh, then she's going to use her extra attack to okay. fire again. Same Sweet. one. Um, she doesn't get the hunter's mark again, does she? Uh. Or as long as she's hunter's mark, she. All these rules questions today, man. I'm sorry. I'm no, looking. no, it's Let totally cool. Let's see. I think, you choose I a think creature. she gets it. I normally rely on Bryn to tell Whenever me. Whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Oh, yeah, there you go. You get an extra attack, so she yep. keeps getting Hunter's Mark. She doesn't get... Okay, yeah, so boom. Yep. Now when <laughs> misses. Okay. It just buries itself in the wall next to her. Then she's... She's just stay right where she is. Buy her. Uh oh, Byers, no, no, that's me. Okay. <laughs> I was like, mm. uh, what is Byers going to do? I'm not on the ball today. I'm not, no, I'm not on the ball today. It was 85 degrees. <laughs> I'm super, like, not on the ball today. Uh, he is going to mass healing word, I think. Yeah, he's going to mass healing word. Um, so everyone's going to take. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, except for him, is going to take seven points of uh, healing. As this ray of hope, he he looks at Jax like he doesn't know what he can do except give her more hit points, and so he that's well, what he, he does. Something else he really mm, wants to. He might have a little wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and with that, it's Jax's go. You are restrained, uh, which means you cannot cast any spells that have a somatic component. Anyone with an S clicked. Um, you can also attempt to get out of her hug. I... Um, will do that. All right, make me a DC 15. I like to struggle for 
Um, sorry. A DC uh, 15 strength check. Okay. So just Damn, this bitch on is my strong. actual... Yeah, she's super strong. She's not fucking around. Yeah, just strength. Straight up. Oops. DC 15. I, <gasps> and you're able to break that yourself out. That was stealth. Oh, no. oh that was stealth. What oh, is your... Oh, stealth. Here's, here's you the thing. Out. You <laughs> rolled a 20. Pill, right? All this did was add the wrong bonus to it. Yeah. Right? You're fine. You rolled a crit. All it would do would change the final number and not the die you rolled. Just roll the right okay. dice moving forward. Please. Dear Victor. Yeah. Alright, but you are able to break yourself out and hop away from her, but that's your turn. Okay. Uh, no, you still have your move if you want it. Uh, can I use a bonus action to Bardic we inspire Brent? Yeah. I, okay, I would like to do that. And I'll sing to her Don't stop Bryn now. She's not having such a good time. Oh. She's not having a ball because her dog's dead, but don't stop Bryn now. <laughs> she sobs like thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh you still have your move if you wanted to. Okay. I'm and then I'll we'll move. Okay, you will take a tax of opportunity from yeah. each of them. I won't move. Okay. You're in a bad situation. There's nothing there's nothing even about yeah. it. You're you're not in a great situation. She's gonna try and grab you again and she goes, No! Oh, no, you're mine. And she tries to grab you. Uh what's her AC? Wait, it's on the sheet. Thirteen. She misses. As her arms that are like these giant, meaty, sort of decayed fists just come over you. Um, so she can do that and one, she went three attacks, by claw, or a clush, crushing hug. So all she could do is the crushing hug. Uh, and then it's the night hags go. Um, the night hag, I don't need you up anymore. Goodbye. The night hag will... I need to do that. Uh, will cast. <laughs> it's gonna take one step and cast Revivify. Oh. <laughs> Boink. Uh, yeah. What? Five. She the night hag is, is obviously casting a spell on her dead friend. Okay, I will spend my last spell slot and cast counter spell. Okay, uh, and it is below fourth level, so you immediately counter spell it. It's gone. Okay. Hey. She looks up at you and goes, "You bitch." Ooh. I don't normally use that word. Uh, and then ghost attacks Bryn. Wait, it's ghost. Are you gonna roll that or are you making? I'm gonna roll that. Good? Okay. Uh, does he get two attacks or one attack? Do you guys know? He only gets one. Okay. You it's a bite it. and boink. Uh, it's only a ten that misses. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that misses. He's like, no, stop. <laughs> oh. There you go. All right, sweet. Uh, that's it for him. And then Vim. Vim. Is oof. Can I stand on the old hag's corpse? Sure. I wish to do that so okay. that I get flanking. From uh, yes, you would. Yes, indeed. So advantage and sneak attack. Stab. Preed. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh. Uh, 25, 35, 36 points of damage. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Vim's had enough. Hmm, yeah, no, you messed with Brendan Jackson. Yeah, it's time. All right. Uh, Vim. Or Still anything up. else Vim. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, Still yeah, up. yeah. 
Anything else, uh, Vim? Fudge. Um, yeah, I'll just take my uh, nah, bonus action, disengage. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. How far did I go? Just now. Uh, not that far. I went Beep. 20 feet, so I have 10 yeah. more feet mm -hmm. of movement. So, yeah, I'll disengage and okay. back up 10 feet. Okay. Sven. All right. I will draw my shield and rapier, and I will start stabbing this stabity witch. Stabity stab stab. Stabity stab stab. I'm going to stab with my stabby bits. Miss. Oh, no. Hit. There we go. A very good hit. For Got 12. it. All right. And that's all my turn. Uh, okay. Uh, Kazara. Sorry, buttons don't want to unclick. Uh, I want to unclick my buttons. I really, really, really want to drop a fireball. Is um, Jax still grappled? No. So if I hit this bitch with a fireball, Jax will be okay as long as I'm far enough away? Uh, as long as, it, yeah, as long as it doesn't actually hit Jax with a fireball, you're good. I'm going to spin a sorcery point to bring back my... Third level spell slot. Nice. And I'm gonna guess. <laughs> well, I first have to move. Okay. Um, I think I have to move right here. Uh, there's a big old wall, right here. Yeah, there's, a, there's a house there. Yeah. Son there's like a, a, a house. There's an entrance back here and an entrance oh, up here. No way. I, oh God. There's just no way to get them both, is there? <sighs> Without getting jacks. Um, can I? I can't just like climb over this house. <laughs> it's about eight foot tall. You can try. It'll be your action to climb it. Oh. No, it'd be your move. You'd make an athletics check. So how have I been hitting? Uh, I haven't been hitting her with spells because there's a house in the way. Yeah, there's a house in the way. You actually can't see her technically. Well, then I'll just go after this one, and I will use. I will use. I will. Which, uh, wait, eh, scorching ray. Hit, miss. Why do I keep getting this fucking eight? God. This hates you. It hates you so hard. But I get three of these, right? You do. <laughs> hit, no, yes. miss, miss, hit. Third one hits. I'm so used to saying hit from the, the Terra Folk. So 15 does not hit. No. Okay. Indeed not. Kazara, anything else? Um, no. Bryn. Oh, Bryn. Brynny, Bryn, Bryn. Sharpshooter on the, uh, the one that's Hunter's marked. Okay, uh, she's in melee, so she's disadvantaged, right? Um. Is that a thing? Let me, let me make sure. Because she was right next to him in the last round. It might not be. Uh, arrange attacks. Like, they haven't moved. Uh, yeah. When you make a range attack with a weapon, a spell, or some other means, you have disadvantage on the attack roll if you're within five feet of a hostile creature who can see you and isn't incapacitated. Okay, well, then she will step away. Okay, she'll uh, get an attack of opportunity. Yep. Boink. Uh, roll 17. Uh, make me a strength check. A strength saving throw. She's knocked down. She's prone. Uh, uh, let's do the... I'm going to use her inspiration. Her bard okay. inspiration. Okay. That's D d8. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think just makes it. Let me make sure. Yeah, because I think it's 10. Uh, it is a... Wolf is a friend of the Oh, wait. Yeah, is she... Let's see. Oh, why doesn't it say? It always... It said before... Oh, uh, so flat 11. 11. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the bite attack does 8 points of damage. Eight points of damage, I'll take mm -hmm. them. Okay. Okay. Now she will, as she did before, be there. Yep. And she will sharpshoot her to Hunter's Mark. Okay. Oh, man. Got it? Yeah. Uh, for... for 18. 
Okay. And then, yeah, that's that'll be, that'll be it. Fire is going to... He's going to... Kill them all in one shot. Right. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of combat stuff. He's going to... Cast all enemies die. He's going to run up here and cast Cure Winds at level 3. No, 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 no. Get out of here. You got to get out of here. Uh, is what he says. So it'll be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hit points back to Jax. How, how, what was the total? 16, 1-6. 60. Yeah. Okay. 60. And he puts his hand on your shoulder and goes, you gotta get out of there. You gotta get out. <laughs> uh, and then it's your go. Uh, okay. Um, I will just run away listening to fire. Uh, all right, so you will take attacks of opportunity from both of them if you do that. Or, I mean... It's up to you. I'm just saying, I'm giving you what happens when you do that. Well, I guess I, I could disengage. Yeah. Because that's, that, that's a whole turn, right? Yeah, you could. your whole turn could be disengaged. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. that's it. Okay, uh, where do you move? Um, oh, and I can, okay. Yeah, disengaging moves you out of con uh, direct contact yeah. with somebody yeah. and means that they can't take an attack of opportunity on you. I will move, um, there, like there, yeah. Okay, um, Anis Hag steps up, grabs Byer. Oh, it's, no. uh, for a lot of damage, again. Not Tree Bay! <laughs> tree Bay! <laughs> Can anybody guess how many d6s I roll when I cr hug someone? Six. From the sound of that. Right there, from the sound of that. These hags can suck it. Five, six, eleven, twenty-one, twenty-two. Uh, 26. Am I right? Is it six of them? No. And he is grappled. Boink. And the night head goes, Enough of this! And I need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, oh man, you guys are fucking lucky. Jesus Christ. Okay. Vim, Buyer, Jax. I think it's that one, right? Yes. Vim, Buyer, and Jax. Take. This is necrotic damage. Six, twelve, eighteen. 23, 29, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 points of damage. Buyer passes Uncanny out. Uncanny dodge uh, to half that. Okay. Buyer passes it's, out. It's 38, you said? Hmm? So that's 38. Jax, take 38 points of damage. 19 points gives, puts me at... Sven, Bryn, and Kazara take 19 points of damage. Oh, Rude. Down. Byer is also down. Uh, as this wave, as she says enough of this, there's just, it's like the world ripples in front of you for a minute, and the whole garden rots in a moment. And all of the ground around you turns to dust as this wave of necrotic energy comes out from her. Does, uh, do I have any bonus for being uh, immune to necrotic damage or resistant to necrotic? Your res resistance, you would take half of the 19. 
which would mm-hmm. be nine. Okay. Uh, and then Ghost moves up to attack Bryn. Uh, rolls a 19. Uh, can I get a strength saving throw from Bryn, please? Uh, just makes it, but takes nine points of damage. Vim. Good. Vim looks at Bryn and wishes he had healing spells, but he does not. So he moves up here to attack this again. Mm-hmm. Advantage and sneak attack. Crit. Crit. How do you want to Get take her out? Some. How do you want to take I'm her out? I'm literally just going to walk up and I'm just going to like, I'm going to assume that she still has her hands out from casting this fucked up spell. Yep. Right? And so I'm going to walk up and I'm going to run up to her, take one dagger or actually, I'm going to take both daggers, and I'm literally just going to sh- slice up yeah, and cut her arms off at the shoulder. Yep. And then flip the daggers down and just into the temples. Oh, Jesus. As you do that, you bring them up through her shoulders and into the temples, and you see her body turn into these flecks of black nothing that starts slowly melting away as she disintegrates, and she's like, No! No! This is all! And she can't even finish before she's gone. Maybe that happens. What else? Uh, so she's dead. Um, can I do? <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry about your wolf! Oh, that was... Oh. Kiddo. Okay. Um... Does, does, like okay, does anything enough. change on the wolf front now that this one that... No, she rose dead. It is a, a ghost zombie. It is Yeah, it is a ghost zombie. That's weird to say, okay. but it is a... It's a ghost zombie. It, it's a zombie wolf. Okay, I'm going to... Ugh. Man, I don't... Oh, uh, ooh, you know what I could do? Hmm. Can, I, can I chuck a potion real quick? Your action was to attack... Bonus action. Yes, indeed, you may. As a bonus action, I will yep. potion of healing uh, myself. What is that? 2d4 plus 4? Or 2d4 plus 2? Uh, yes, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. 9. Oof. 9! Nine. 9! Nine. 9! That's good. Uh, anything there. else? More comfortable. Um, I want to move... I moved 10, so I still have... I want to go around this way, so I want to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Yes. I moved. I got that's your turn. I meant to, yeah, I, I meant got to you. move me there. I got you, boo. And then that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Sven. All right. I'm going to run up to the big pad over here. I'm going to stab her. In theory. In theory. <laughs> I'm a stabber. One. Hits. Yes. Two. And next pain is magical, okay. Just hits. Yes. Okay. Got her. All right. Uh... Kizara. Uh, is there anywhere that I could move where I won't hit, hit her with, <coughs> or hit my allies? I yeah. will go... If you want to cast a fireball, yeah, you could. Now you can. Oh, I can do a fireball now? Well, you can fiberball. <laughs> High and fiber. Yeah, you can do it here. Fiber. That will not affect buyer. That situation. will not affect buyer, because it's only attacking the back half. Fiberball. Of uh, <laughs> yeah, but how would I get... You would just move up to here, so you could see yeah, the, the space. <gasps> It doesn't cast on you. You chuck it somewhere and it explodes. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Ka, me, um, ka, me, ka. So, oh shit. Oh no. What? No! I have to spend a sorcery point and that takes my whole turn. Oh. Okay, well, I will do that just in case. And that's it for me. Okay, Bryn. 
Okay, so no fire. Okay, Bryn. Uh, shit. Okay, so Bryn's got. Can she cure wounds on herself? Uh, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. Although, let me look up that casting spell real again. Um, I think she can just do that. Uh, yeah, you can if you're not if you're not making a ranged spell attack. If you're just casting something mm -hmm. and with a touch, you're fine. Okay, so she can do that and then do other stuff, right? Uh, well, like, it will be her action to cast that spell. Right. And then she'd have oh, her bonus okay. action and her move and her reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I'm thinking. Um, shit. And a disengage is a full turn thing, full right? Full round like, action, yeah. You, you won't be able to do anything but disengage and move. We do yeah. that. Crap. She'd still have her bonus action. Well, she doesn't have any potions. Okay. That's the problem. I was going to have her do that. I was going to have her potion, attack, move, but um, she's hurting. She's distraught. She's going to take her short sword and just try to put down Ghost. Uh, so I'm going to throw this out to the group. Would she need to make something like a wisdom saving throw to attack her now raised familiar? I'm gonna throw That's it out to the group. I'm equipped to answer. Would do you, so? I guess the question would be: Would I, she hesitate and think twice? Do you guys think? Yes. Okay. I will. Yeah. I think she, she would. would hesitate. Okay. So make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. She would not have advantage on it, so she is frozen thinking about trying to... Did I do the right... Oh, I clicked Vims. I'm sorry. I would do it again. Yeah, it does save Vim Night Rider. Make her save. Sorry. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she can totally do it. With a steely look in her eye, she stabs downwards towards... Tears streaking down her face. Short sword. Hits. Uh, yeah, he's got more than that, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He's got like 37 oh, hit points. my god, yeah. He's... My thing says he started at 29, so... Alright, doink! Byer succeeds at his first death saving throw. Does she not get her extra attack? Oh, she gets an extra attack, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 of course, of course she does. Hits. Five. Five points. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, but, and Jax, make a death saving throw. Um, Just click, uh, you'll see death, death yeah, saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you succeed at your first death saving throw. The Anis Hag takes Byer's corpse and chucks it at Bryn. Uh, at disadvantage. Oh, actually, just use Byer's corpse to hit Sven. Makes more sense, because he's right there. Uh, which will oh. immediately cause Byer to fail a death saving throw, as it would do damage to him if he were alive. Uh, and then he rolls to, and then she rolls to hit. This is her first attack, and then rolls a 19. Uh, uh, we'll call it this. Yeah, that seems to make sense. So, uh, Sven, take three, four, five, eight. 9, 10, 13 points of damage as you get hit by a tree. Uh, all right. She then drops by her, hits you, tries to hit you with her other fist, misses, tries to bite at you, uh, misses. Uh, ghost is going to attack Bryn and hits. Uh, yeah. She's probably down. Uh, for 9, 10, 11 points of damage. Yeah. Who thought it would be funny to joke about a TPK tonight? On Friday the 13th? <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> it's intense to be in 10 cities up in here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bryn is down. Yep. Vim. Uh, Vim's uh, feeling no remorse for taking shots at this dog who he has not grown fond no, of. Yet. Absolutely no remorse. You're good. He will 
Shit, it's not flanking anymore, is it? It is not. Okay. So just regular, no sneak attack, no nothing, right? Yep. Jackson back there. I clicked my thing, but I used her name, but it's my thing. 24. Hit. Six. Six more. Okay. Um, let me do this math here. Okay, you're catching up with it. Okay. I was watch I was trying to keep up with it too. Um and then yeah, we'll Yeah, uh, I got you on the on the hit points. Awesome. Okay. And then he's going to offhand. Yep. Miss. Uh luck uh roll luck to do that again. Roll luck it up. Hit. Five. Just enough. And in this kind of green light, ghost corpse disappears. <laughs> Uh, Sven. I still have movement. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you have movement. My bad. I'm gonna come around to this side of fire. Okay. Right here. Okay. Uh, now Sven. Now Sven. Now Sven! I have now! Rouse. Advantage. You do? Correct. Oh, yeah, we're flanking buddies yeah, you now, now, buddy. Have a, yeah. you, you, you flanking buddies. That's it. Here we go. 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 For 12? Mm -hmm. Come on. The sense now. Uh, hits. Oh. For 10? Okay. There's two more. Got him. You, like, burst one of her pustules, and it's like... Oh. She's like... Oh. Anything else? Got it. Uh, nope. I'm all good. Kazara. Uh, Bryn... Oh, no. Okay, never mind. What a fateful choice. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, you can't even see that spot. No. Son of a bitch, I would just nail everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it would probably, would. you would probably kill Byer. You outright. Would, yeah, just like, outright. Uh, no, he would He would fail his second saving, saving, death saving throw. Bryn would fail a death saving throw. And Vim would probably be okay because of his evasion. You might knock Sven out. Bad idea. That's what he's basically not saying. what I want to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do something different. That's not what I want to do. Oh, shoot. I, I don't know if I can... If I have Witch Bolt at higher level... Written in here? You can always cast Witch Bolt at a higher level. Just like anything else. Increases by one. That's only <laughs> if I hit, though. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's dicey. Get it? Huh? It's dicey. Hey, it's 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 a bold it move, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> but it is also incredibly powerful if it makes contact, doing what two d twelve damage per turn. It would be two d twelve if I were to roll. Uh, if I hit, okay, I'm gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Do it up. Do it up. Sure. I'm, I'm excited. Feet, I think I'm good. Yeah, you got to stay within thirty feet of her. Oh, oh just misses. Do you have inspiration? I do. I Run. use my inspiration. Oh no, you used it. Oh. Yeah. Um, I can't do anything else. Okay. Somebody make a death saving throw for Bryn. All right. That sucks. I'll do it. Byron needs to make a death saving throw. Uh, he fails his death saving throw. Shit, that's two for him? That's two fails for him. Jax. So I am good. I am good at You need to make me a death saving throw. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a one. Yeah. You have succeeded on your second death saving throw. Okay. The Anatag looks around it, and you've destroyed her coven so she can no longer cast spells. Um, congratulations. So she just, like, lashes out at you guys violently. She, like, pokes her pimples and stuff and squirts them <laughs> at <laughs> Um, we'll attack Sven twice and Vim once. Uh, so this is the Sven attack. Hits. That was the bite. The two claws at Sven. What is your... Uh, I can look. I, I did yeah, this for a reason. Team. Misses. I rolled 19 to hit Sven. Uh, but both of the attacks miss Vim, as she's now just like in pure rage mode. 
Her sisters are dead. She's lost her connection to everything. Um, Sven, you take... Uh, fuck, really shitty damage for her. Five, six, eleven points of damage. And she just kind of takes uh. this bite out of you. And that's it. It's ghost is dead, so we're back to Vim. Whew. Rounds are going fast Good. now, guys. <laughs> yeah, stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. Advantage. Sneak attack. Uh, blood out. Hit. Pop, pop. Fifteen. Um, and again, offhanded. Yep. She's looking really rough, guys. It hits. For three. And then, um, yeah, that's, I'm just here. This is my home now. <laughs> okay. This oh, is actually, hang on. Like, buyer's right next to me, right? Yeah. Oh, but I, uh, never mind. I can't, I don't have. Yeah. I used my bonus action already. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, it would be a full round action to put a potion down his mouth. That's uh, a bonus action yeah, to put it down your mouth. His mouth. Yeah. Really, gotcha. Yep. Sven. All right. It's time to use... Second wind. Yeah. It was intense, guys. That's a good idea. I think that's just D10. Plus Three of you were down. Half four of you were down. Fourteen. Yeah, four. <laughs> yeah. Whew. All right, that's my bonus action, and then I'm gonna give him a good one. Hit. All right. And this one Eight. is going to be a menacing strike as well. Okay. Indeed. For six. And he makes a... How do you want to do this? Uh, oh, does she die? She's down. Yeah. Tell me how she yeah. dies. Yes! Um, does she have a visible head? She does. She looks exactly like she does in the picture on the token here. She's got this very tiny head on this very large bulbous body, these weird looking ears. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to find the head on the token. Um, pretty much just stab my rapier straight into her neck, mm -hmm. but then, like much like a can opener, but more like a spin of the wrist, flip it around and pop the head off as if it was made of paper. I love it. That's awesome. Nice. I hate this hag. All right. So, as you bring your rapier up, you hear this. And at first, she kind of like leans into it, like she's going to bite you. And then, as you twist it, there's this horrible ripping sound as this tiny head gets off of this big body. There's this gout of black ichor from her as her body goes. And it's down. Yeah. Swipe the ichor off my blade onto the ground and leap onto my compadres to try and bring them back from dying. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm instantly, as soon as we're well, out we're, of rounds. We, we were, are we're we not... still in rounds because awesome. Bryn is one save away. I'm sorry, Byer is one save away from dying. So I'm going to make you guys act in rounds for this. So, Kazara, you're next up. What do you do? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over to. Whoops, wrong button. Yep, I'm going to move over to Bayer, and um, can I pour my potion of blister healing down his mouth a hole? You may. With me? Okay. Yep. Stick it in there, Kazara. Fill him. Seven points! Seven points, okay. He is no Just longer. To clarify, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. Under threat of death. Okay. Uh, Bryn needs to make me a death saving throw. That's a success, right? That's a success, indeed. Uh, yeah. Buyer gets up for half his movement and then is going to run over to Jax. And how much movement does he have? Uh, I mean, not all, he's got 30, but that would be, uh -huh. 15 would get him to here, right? And so, oh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't have, yeah, I guess he would not have to run. He could do that, and then cure wounds. At level three. 
14, 15, uh, 21 points of healing to Jackson. As you wake up, you see Byer over you going, you have to stop doing this. By which he means dying. And then Jax is back and we're out of rounds. Uh, no. Um, it is uh, Vim. One Vim's going to run save. up. Yeah, he's going to run to Bryn and stuff a potion down her throat. Eight. Okay, eight. That'll bring her back up, of course. But I kind of like angle her face to where it was like, oh wait, no, Brett, Ghost is like gone, gone, right? He like he's gone. In the green. He's gone. He's not, yeah. There's no he body to or be anything. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bren's gonna wake up and ask where Ghost is, and I'm gonna tell her, you know, hey, <laughs> we had to, you know, take care of it. I went ahead and took care of it. He's gone, but he'll come back. We'll be fine. We're all fine now. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. That was the closest you guys have come to a, a total party kill. Yeah. I was legitimately was worried. Yeah. Yeah, that counter spell, I think, clutched it. It did. Had she gotten back up, it'd have been bad. I've been real bad. Oh, right, what do you guys do? Can we sleep, please? <laughs> I would, yeah, I mean. Long rest. We need to rest. up in this old hag's house. I don't even Not care. Not even kidding. I want to <laughs> rummage this house. I want to, yeah. We all need to just. Yep. Rest, search the house, find everything of value. Uh, make me an investigation check. Whoever wants to. I'm going to make one too. Yeah, Vim and Bryn both want to. So there's Vim. We'll make it a group investigation check. It's not with advantage. I, oh, yeah. Well, well, there you go. Eight. And then her investigation is that. Oh. Wow, guys. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. Oh, there you, you go. Back. Saving us. Yeah. Um, okay. You guys find a couple of things. And uh, Byer will take the time to identify them just so you guys know what they are. Um, there is a necklace that gives plus one to spell, DC, and modif casting modifier. Uh, I would like to take that if no one else wants it. There, uh, it does require attunement. Okay. Um, I have my loot table here somewhere. One second. Oh, but I already have a spell necklace. What is your spell necklace do? Uh, it gives me a, a basically a spell slot okay. or a sorcery point or something. You have some choices to make. Yeah. You have some choices. Can I just layer them like a gypsy woman and You're just not wear both? You cannot, <laughs> sadly. I don't think you can wear two necklaces. I can look and check after game, but I'm pretty sure you can't wear two necklaces. Hmm. Yeah, they clash. They're not even the same color. They're, they don't go with your eyes. It's one silver, yeah. one's gold. It's like a big honking thing on it. It's it's it'd be really gaudy if you went both. It's. Uh, I lost my, my horde generator. Where'd it go? I think I would rather have that necklace than this spell yes. necklace. Okay, so. Um, Who else there. casts spells? I think Jax does. Jax and Byer both do. Yeah, the cleric and the... And Brennan does, but yeah, those... <laughs> Friends are more um, support kind of things than they kind of Jack, help smell. Would an extra plus one to your charisma help you? Modify I mean, it. It's already pretty high. It would make it I mean, it would make it what? Make it eighteen. That's amazing. That's a plus four. Yes, you want a plus one to your charisma. Okay. Okay. I think I'm you should sorry. take it, Jax. We are freaking rich, guys. That is Holy the crap. Come, you got a treasure hoard. Yeah, I mean, it's a deadly encounter of a, a a coven, and there is the combined wealth of this town in there. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so do we want to divvy up this gold right now, or should we just wait? Um, I mean, we can wait. Okay. Just keep track of it. I'm, I mean, I just wrote it down, so... Yeah. The other stuff we can just sell. That looks like just sell stuff. There's nothing special about any of this stuff. It's just mundane. Uh, well, there's an, there's oil of etherealness and then four cool. potions of superior healing. Right, right. Yep. What are you guys doing? Uh, resting. Uh, resting. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll assume you're going to take the normal watches. Uh, but the night will pass quietly and uneventfully. You're fucking better. <laughs> Morning comes with no disturbances during the evening. You probably, as you check out this house, I should tell you, it is full of... It's like walking into a horror mansion. It's... There are flayed bodies on the walls. There are skeletons hanging from the ceiling. The back room itself is completely covered in human skulls. This place was a shrine to death. It's no wonder she didn't invite us in for tea. Yeah. She served us tea outside in the garden. Now I know why. We're lucky it wasn't poisoned. So dark, right? Guys. She could have just taken us out immediately with some poison tea. It might very well be, for all we know. Oh, you have a good point, Louise. Time will tell. Hey, um, real quick. Vim wants to take that silk choker threaded with gold. Yep. And give it to Bryn. Okay. Is everyone Push. just pairing up in this campaign? I don't understand. <laughs> Sven, Kazara. <laughs> Sven, Kazara. Oh. I like him old. <laughs> shipping. I don't, shipping. I don't, I don't know. Sven, what he's Kizara doing, ship. let me tell you. Yeah. That's sacred territory. I don't want. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that would just be weird. That would be way too weird. Them loins is sacred. No. Okay. Morning comes. Bryn accepts the gift with a sad look in her eyes. Ghost does return that morning. Because that's how familiars work. What do you guys do? Well, she did tell us. Where did she tell us the oracle was? I don't know if I believe where she said it was. <laughs> I mean, do we believe her? I mean, we did see the uh, the pyramid type thing out there. Yeah, and I mean, she could very well have told us what we wanted to know because she assumed that she would she kill us. She would kill us, yeah. I mean, we have no other leads. We might as well. Yeah, exactly. That's my vote if you guys have any other ideas by all means I have, no no I mean we we've got a mission we've got to find the Oracle so that we can find Omu this this is our quest and we are flush with cash mm. okay so you guys gonna head off the Mesa yep all right carefully Carefully, yeah, yeah. It's 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 easy to make your way down because gravity. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking jump. gravity. <laughs> As you guys okay. get to the bottom and make it to your camp, um, yeah. everything seems cool. normal. Everybody's just been kind of waiting for you guys for the last. Uh, it's been like a day and a half at this point. It takes a little while to get down off the mesa in the morning. Um, but in a moment, as you guys are preparing to pack up and start moving out, you get this intense and overpowering smell of ham, and then. Uh, javelin comes going into the camp and you hear this rushing through the bush and this strange looking human with this beard and he looks not Indiana Jones like but kind of like a, a rough adventurer sort of guy comes running out of the woods at like full speed and next to him is like this three and a half foot tall one wouldn't call him a lizard man but he's certainly something dragon-ish kind of running and they go cannibals cannibals run go and that's where we're going to end tonight's yep stream uh, of course we are fuck. cannibals yeah. oh. so, 
How did we have? Did we have fun tonight, guys? Absolutely. We oh, yeah. had an adventure for sure. That was an adventure. It was an adventure. Good. Uh, cool. I am bringing up some stuff really quick, so uh, let's go around and do some shout outs. Um, let's start with uh, Kimmages. I'm bringing, I had to actually bring up my thingy here. Um, Kimmages is amazing. Uh, any thoughts about tonight as I bring up this stupid stuff? Uh, I'm really surprised that Kazara didn't die. It was still not surprising that I couldn't get anyone with a spell, but that's cool. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> interesting. I don't think Kazara is equipped to be giving dating advice to trees, but that <laughs> happens. And, um, Them yeah, is not equipped to give dating advice at all. So <laughs> it was super, super interesting. Um, and I am still Kimages on Twitch TV and Kimages TV on Twitter, and I am like twenty five percent of Welcome to the Party. So <laughs> we You're would love it if you would join us. Welcome to the party. If you want to uh, run some games, we actually really need some DMs. So if you will want to like run some games, even one shots or extended campaigns, we would love to have you. Please contact us for more info. Yay! Okay. Uh, next up, we have Sven. Oh, and Kim can be found. Uh, I put it in the link there. Kimages.tv on Twitter and Kimages on Twitch. Sven. Uh, hey y'all, I'm Sven, also Noah, and at No Introduction on Twitter, and I do art and stuff. Sweet. Uh, what are we supposed to talk about here? I don't. I'm not. Oh, sure. whatever you want. If you want to pitch anything, whatever if you want. want to say anything about tonight, you don't have to. About it's cool. Everything I can talk about is in non-disclosure agreements. So. Oh, blah blah blah. Uh, and you were right, and I was wrong. I'll say it again. Sneak attacks okay. can happen more than once around. That seems really gross to me. But they can happen more than once around. Next, Jack. Seems really awesome to me. It seems really awesome. Hi, um, I'm at the name of the Nancy Grid, at Nancy Grid, um, and um, I am. I feel really bad about trusting Nanny Poo. <laughs> Everyone should feel bad about trusting. We Nanny. all do. In fact, I am going to do so. I I never trusted her. Well, I. Jackson her night that he did, so Yeah. I've That's yeah. Jackson. Um But yeah, uh, I, I love all these people here, like I sincerely do, so I think you should follow all of them. And um uh this this channel means a lot to me too because it like made a big difference in my life because I think I think um Wayne being a nice like it. A better person. I know that's cheesy, but I think it is really good for people. I think D and D can make you a better person too, and I'm so glad you're with us. I really am. I'm having so much fun with the whole buyer, Jacks thing. Yes. Okay. Last but not least, Vim. Vim. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm Than Rand. I stream uh, weekly or uh, weekdays, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time on twitchtv Rand. Also on Monday and Thursday nights, if I can, at 6 p.m., same channel. Also find me on Twitter, at ThanRand, Instagram at ThanRand, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, uh, play Dungeons & Dragons. It's literally the best thing you can do. I don't disagree. And speaking of playing Dungeons & Dragons, oh, anything else? No, no, I'm good. Okay. That's all I need. Uh, I just, we have a bunch of, I want to thank a lot of people for being amazingly awesome over the last couple of days. We got a ton of new people into the Discord. We're launching two new games on Saturday night and Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, both. Um, we are trying to practice what we believe in terms of creating a diverse and inclusive environment. And I think our next two games that you're going to see launching in the next couple of weeks are going to show that. So stick around. We're going to have seven games. We started this three weeks ago, and we have nearly a hundred people on our Discord server. It's we're this. It's just this amazing community growing up around this idea of welcoming people to role playing, showing them how to stream, showing them how to play D and D. It's what our new Monday game is going to be about. After the four shots over, it's a bunch of new players who are learning how to play, um, and then opening up the door and destroying the whole concept of gatekeeping as much as humanly possible uh, by showing people that everyone is welcome to come play RPGs, and we love it. Uh, a couple of people to thank tonight. Uh, in terms of follows and stuff like that, um, Streaming Onion, uh, Arkham, is the uh, Arkham is the Fallen, Kaora, Capricos, 
uh, Breber, um, Honor, no, Honor Red hosted. Thank you for the host, Honor Red. Hanka, Jesus Christ. Uh, and Oshavatau, who I know and I love, and he's an awesome dude. Thank you. Thank you to Castle Mac and Breber uh, for the bits and Channel Logic for the bits. And you guys are awesome. I love you. And tomorrow at 4.30, we will have our Storm King's Thunder game, The Broken Throne. Uh, so come join us then. With that, we're going to go raid our friends over at uh, Nerdlopedia, who are running D&D on their Friday D&D night. They've been super awesome. Nerdlopedia. So just stick around for us for a second. Um, and while you do, hit that Join Discord button, because we've got an awesome group of people. We're always looking to... Uh, uh, start new games and one shots and all sorts of fun stuff on there. Um, yeah, that's it. I have to type and talk at the same time and it's really hard. And there we go. Uh, we're raiding Nerdlopedia. It's gonna be fun. They're a great group of people. They uh, came by a bunch and say hi in the chat. We love them. They're good folk. Uh, mm -hmm. Playing some Diz and Diz. And who knew there were so many people who wanted to join a group like ours? We just had to find them and get them all in one spot. Yeah. yeah. So come on. And we haven't even found them all. Like, there's no way we've gotten all of them. So. Tell two so friends. Many. Tell two friends. So many friends. Yeah. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. And we're out. <laughs>